You're listening to the H3 oh. podcast where we got on the Yo, scene. We're back. H3 After Dark in the new studio, Ela. <laughs> so hyped. Oh, how's the, how's the new wallpaper look? Looks pretty good. It's pretty sick for yeah. me. It looks very, um, how, what's the word? It looks, um, ru- uh, urban, rustic, a little gritty, even, you might say. A little gritty, like us. It's after dark, baby. It is after dark. Ela, nice to see you, you know. It's such a shame to go the whole week without you. Mm-hmm. People only want to watch after dark because... And frenemies. And frenemies. No off the rails. Nobody cares about <laughs> off the rails. What can I do? No, they care. We post um, off the rails and then people start unsubbing. <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God I was sitting there watching the subs. People don't like off the rails. I watched it too. It didn't happen. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what can I do? Some you love, some you don't love. We love when he lives here. This is not off the rails. Uh, today we are sponsored by HBO Max Shady Rays. Um, boy, do we have a lot of good stuff to talk about today. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing? A little check-in, though, first. Pretty good. Pretty good. We got it pretty good. Got it pretty good. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. Don't get (laughs) too excited now. I'm still so weirded out that this is it. We're back. Yeah. I don't know. Some normalcy. Yeah, we're not quite done with the studio because we just, we erected this (laughs) in, like, one weekend. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, got him. And so, like, it's a little echo in here. You guys can't tell. Mm. But the roof, we need, like, um, some something to absorb the sound. Because you feel the echo? Mm, I guess, maybe. Yeah. Um, so, are we wearing this for a reason? Oh, you're going to bring that up already? Oh, we're not bringing it up? I was just going to try to pretend <laughs> okay. like we weren't all wearing Bass Pro Shop hats. <laughs> yes, we're wearing it for a reason. I am pro. I'm joining the movement. I bought everybody a Bass Pro Shop hat. I spent hundreds of dollars on Bass Pro Shop hats. Got your hat. Beca- oh, got, got hat. my hat. Because I'm joining the Bass Pro Shop movement. Got your I don't hat. know anything about fish, fishing. I've never even been. I didn't even know Bass Pro Shop was a place. Yeah. But I'm getting the hat, and I'm joining the movement. Mm. Everybody's got a Bass Pro Shop People hat. People just love the logo. Like, it's just a great logo. Bruh, I don't know what it is, but, like, every D-bag in the world is walking around with the Bass Pro Shop hat all of a sudden. I'm ashamed to admit that I actually do own one. Uh, now, tell, okay, tell me the origin. <laughs> okay, Zach, tell me the origin story of the hat. Yes. Um. Well, Bass Pro Shop is, like, this freaking amazing... Uh, like indoor sports world they got food and um i don't know it's just how long have you had the hat uh, probably a couple of years okay so you were before the movement mm. right you're right. an original bass pro shop I'm, I'm, an, I'm an og yeah, yeah you're i an think it's something else what i think it? it's like just these tiktok douches uh trying to dress like normal people i guess there's, there's <laughs> normal some, core yeah i guess normal core if you will <laughs> yeah they're trying to be down with you the working so. man yeah it's, i guess so it's like i could see that of, yeah it's kind of white trashy isn't it? I hate to go back there, but it's like Bass Pro Shop. We go down to Lake Fish and Tramp. Some bass. Right, that's the end of the show. Yeah. Woo hoo! Let's stay on track. I caught me a big bass. I ain't taking no COVID shot, boy. Bill Gates made that to put a microchip in me. Oh, that's Mexican. That's, I'm just saying, white trash don't do that. <laughs> I'm mixing up my caricatures. Okay, okay. What is don't today? Do you have a document with topics? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this isn't off the rails, you're right. Um, yo, okay, so today is Friday. Yes. Before we get too deep into the show, we have to celebrate with Gabe. You want to do it? Ooh. Yes. Bring Gabe. All right, <laughs> we need to celebrate that it's Friday, baby. You know, yeah. we Friday means no school, means no work. It Friday, mean, baby. There he is. Oh, there Get is. him up. Get him on I, my screen. Oh my God, I thought it was a sound bite. That what? I think that was a sound bite. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was a sound bite. Yeah. <laughs> so Friday means there's no school. Gabe, yeah. what's today, dude? 
what? Friday, it's Friday, baby. <laughs> it's the weekend. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there work today? <laughs> Crack open a what <laughs> claw. White hot, baby. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, baby. Water, yeah. Baby. Jump, jump, jump. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Iced tea. Oh, we, what do we got planned for the weekend, Gabe? Uh, we got um, fight night tomorrow. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. Carpenter, baby. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. But until then, it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday, yeah. baby. Friday, yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, it's the weekend. It's the weekend, weekend, baby. Fuck. We got Friday, Saturday, it's and Sunday, baby. Oh, fuck yeah. Monday's a holiday and it's a four-day weekend. <laughs> it is? It is? Wait, what's the yeah, Memorial Day. Man, what next week. Memorial Day? Are you kidding me? It's, what? Did we just learn from Gabe that it's Memorial Day? <laughs> we did. Next Whoa, week, so. baby, it's a four-day weekend. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's on Tuesday? Tuesday, Tony Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, we don't talk about Tuesday because we all got to go back to work and stuff. Oh, yeah, that. Fuck. Man. Fuck Tuesday. <laughs> all right, Gabe. We're going to, um, we're thinking about doing Burger Tuesday, you know. Oh, <laughs> mix it up. Yeah. That could work too. <laughs> Sounds good to me, man. Yeah. You work You work out. You seem kind of trim because it seems like you enjoy your food a lot, but you look healthy. Yeah, I, I do my daily walks like in the morning and stuff and, you know. <laughs> I just keep myself active, you know. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm je I'm jealous. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan. <laughs> I could have a lot to learn from Gabe anyway. Yeah, uh, I eat after eight, and I don't eat till after like eleven or twelve. That's the key. Damn. Cheese. What about white claws after twelve? <laughs> well, it's good because it's better than soda because it's um, sure less sugar, less calories. Mm. So you doesn't do you, have much alcohol. <laughs> so, so do you drink White Claw when you're thirsty or just when you're trying to get drunk? I drink it when I'm thirsty, when I feel like I, I want to have a soda or to have a White Claw. Damn. Quench your thirst with oh. a White Claw. All right. Yeah. That's white gangster. Claw, baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's Friday. We're going to do our thing. I hope you have a great fucking Friday, baby. You know? <laughs> fuck. 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 <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Oh, 500K White Claw Gabe. Wow. You just hit 500K on TikTok, right? I just made 500K um, followers on TikTok. Yeah. Let's fucking, yeah. Fuck, baby. Yeah, baby. Woo. Fuck, Half yeah. Million. We got 500,000 more than we reach a million, baby. Fuck. Let's go. <laughs> Let's times that by two, baby. Fuck. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Happy Friday, Gabe. Happy Friday. Take care, buddy. Happy Friday. See you next week. All right, baby. Fuck. See, you, see you on Friday, baby. Fuck yeah. What an angel. Gabe, everybody. White Claw Gabe everywhere. You can find him on Cameo, too. He's Small great. correction. It is not Memorial Day next week. Gabe, what oh, the what? fuck? Get him back on the phone. Get him back on the phone. Wait, what? Gabe. <laughs> it's, the, it's the following week. He was a little confused. Let's talk okay. to Gabe. Get him back on the phone. <laughs> Hang on. We just caused, like, a lot of people yeah, are we have not going to We have to clarify here. We can't just put that out there. I'm getting him back. Hold on. Yeah, we need Gabe back on. I need to confront him about this. All right, stand by. Because <laughs> you can't give me a false four-day weekend, baby. <laughs> I feel like Gabe's got to correct the record on that one. Anyway, White Claw Gabe's on Cameo. He's crushing it there. Pretty awesome, man. A cameo is really cool for, you know, Gabe is making a living out there. So support your boy. Can I say I actually ran into Gabe in person? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Zach sent a photo of him and White Claw Gabe together. Yeah. I dropped it in the uh, our chat. Uh, oh, I was, I was like, <laughs> no, how is it? What? Wait, when you say our chat, you mean Discord? Discord, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you guys are not gonna believe this. He, I, uh, this just happened a few days ago. Yeah. I, uh, I was like, what the hell? Zach and White Claw Gabe? What's the story here? Uh, he was at a, a gas station, um, and I saw him pulling through the car wash, and he was in his car, and like I was inside paying, and I see him through the window. I'm like, I, I gotta go get him. Like, I gotta go take a picture with him. Wow. So I run out. I catch him right before he goes into the drive to the car wash. I'm like, Gabe, 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 Gabe. Dude, was, there's no <laughs> such thing as a coincidence. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you guys are energ energetically aligned. Right. Seriously. That's crazy. Is Gabe dodging us now that he knows of his critical error? <laughs> he hasn't. 
He has not yet called back. Okay, in. well, but, uh, <laughs> if I get him, I'll, I'll let you. All right. Well, everybody, it is not Memorial it. Weekend. We were Gabe was just Please a little gung ho about his four day weekend, which I don't blame him because it's Friday, baby. Fuck. All right, let's move on, shall we? Oh, we shall. One, one other thing before we move on, just real quick. You know how we it is. Right? We shall not. Teddyfresh.com, you know what to do. Mm-hmm. Ela, you want to give me the voiceover? Um, uh, I actually, I'm wearing the cardigan, which is one of my favorites. And we, it was a surprise that it came early. Like, that almost never happens. Things are always late. Mm. So we didn't get to shoot it on a model, so... Um, just so you guys know, it is out. Cardigan! Hoodies. Gross the economy. Gross the economy. We got the, uh, yeah, we got the color blocks back. We got the neons. We got new colors. This jacket already sold out. Sorry, yeah, folks. That was, honestly, I was moved because <laughs> I love that jacket so much. And it was, you know, kind of like more expensive than our normal stuff. And I didn't know what to expect. People believe in you. Anyway, head on over to teddyfresh.com. We've got all kinds of new, fun, exciting things. Especially, I will say, for the... I, I, I wouldn't say especially, I'll say we have women's. We're definitely yeah. got lots of women's also, stuff my now. Shirt underneath is like the tiny pocket t-shirt. <laughs> you can fit a lighter or a coin <laughs> in it. The options are endless. Anyway, head on over to teddyfresh.com and see what's out there, folks. All right. So everybody in the chat's yelling at me saying that Gabe got it right. He said next week. Oh, he did? Oh, he did. But, no, but he said long I... weekend, didn't he? Oh. Huh. We all heard it. Somebody's got to pull back next Monday, Maybe, right? Can you go back? He should be in the Zoom waiting room right now. Oh, oh he's let's back. bring him back. Okay, he's let's back. He's back. back. Let's <laughs> just go straight to the source. We can clear this okay, up. Okay, yeah, let's just ask him and he'll say, <laughs> he'll say. Bring him on. Yeah, give me one sec. So we're, go we're bringing Gabe back to find out, to get clarity on when is the four-day weekend. Gabe. What's up? What's going on? We need a clarity. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. Yeah. The clarity stuff, baby. So yeah. on, on Monday, do we go to work or are we not going to work? Well, if it's Monday, it's your day. You know, make Monday your day. You know, fuck. If you got to go to work or go to school, <laughs> fuck Mondays, baby. Fuck, yeah. Oh, okay. You know, make your day. It's what you make of Monday. Make it your day. But is, okay. is it Memorial Day <laughs> this Monday? Next, probably next Monday. Oh, oh, next oh Monday. okay. Gabe had it right the whole time, next, man. Next <laughs> Monday is... what? What's the next Monday? What's the next Monday coming up? What's the next what do you Monday do? Coming? What do you that's, mean? That's next week. Right. <laughs> yeah, next, it's it's two it. Mondays from now. I'm just trying to. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, we're, we gotta we, be, a... we gotta be clear here because a lot of people are not this on Monday. Us. Obviously, right. this right. Monday would be in three or four days. But when you days. say the next mo next Monday, next Monday, hey, next Monday is next is right. the next Monday that arrives. That's next Monday. Dan, what are you doing right okay, now? Okay, Dan, you're being really. You're trying to ruin right the now. show. <laughs> Gabe, it's next Monday. Gabe's right, right? Right. <laughs> I, I would call it two Mondays from now. Okay, but, okay. <laughs> so is it this Monday two or Mondays is it Two Mondays from next now is still wordy, though. What's it's the exact... The okay, it's next Monday! <laughs> Dan, <laughs> it's next Monday. Gabe is right. I'm sorry, Gabe. Dan has a point, because how would you refer to Monday? That would be this Monday. It's the next Monday. You would say this Monday. Right, this Gabe? This Monday? It's confusing what phrases and stuff. So this Monday would be after the weekend. Next yeah. Monday would be yeah. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Yeah. Right. Barbecue and hot dogs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> See, Gabe, Gabe's got his mind on the right things. Dan is just trying to derail this. <laughs> all right, Gabe. Take Fuck. care. We we love you. All right. Take Thanks care. a lot. We'll see you. We'll see you on Friday. Thanks for clarifying. Which Friday? Sure. Next. Fr next Fuck. Friday. Fuck. Next Friday. Right. Because next, next week's Friday would be next Friday. Okay. <laughs> it's Thank next you, Friday. Next here. Friday, baby. Fuck. Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> Did we really bring him back for that? <laughs> I thought he was next Monday is clear, I think. Because Monday coming is this Monday. Welcome to the H3 podcast. You just said we'll see you next Friday, referring to the next Friday. Yeah, that because arrives. it's Friday today. Next Friday is the next Friday. <laughs> this Monday. Got it. All right, stop. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> we need to stop roll, though. No, we don't need to go that far. <laughs> All right, let's talk about something real important on like this bullshit. Uh, wiki feet. Huh. There's been a f full on wiki feet mutiny 
by the mods of the website. Okay? I want to smell They've feet. locked me out. They have uh, banned me outright. First, they turned off the rating. I was like, okay, they locked me at five. And then, Love, Love, you want to talk about the war you raged over the weekend? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Yeah, give us it's, a summary. Uh, well, after you got banned, yeah, and I thought no one took action. I was just sitting by at the side, and after a while, I just decided to take action in my own hands. <laughs> um, the only thing I did was uh, I rallied the foot soldiers. I didn't do anything personally. I just called out to all the so foot soldiers out there, and um, we went to war, full out war with Wikifeet. And um, since uh, your page was locked, oh, you, actually, you weren't removed yet. You were locked to five stars. We removed to... to a pathetic five star rating right. from seven point one two. So they capped you at five. They said this motherfucker exactly. is not going to go above five. So I had no chance of being number one on the site until Love yeah. took action to downvote every other person with above five stars. Do you understand? Yep. Is the battle this, that was waged? Is this illegal somehow? <laughs> well, it was well, Love, and he's in Sweden. <laughs> yeah. And Love made it very clear, he didn't do any action. He just, <laughs> this he just put it out there. I see he rallied, right. rallied all the foot soldiers. Yeah. Huh. Well, so, we went to war. so, weirdly now, if you go to the top, it's Zach and Moses. Zach, you're number one, which is like, this was never meant to be. <laughs> here's Zach's number one toes. Here. I don't, I don't know what look. to say, man. I... Did put Joker toes. Those are Joker toes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I'm off the website. Ooh, some of those are graphic. Yikes. Graphic. Yeah, they're like from like gay porn shoots, like oh. legitimately. <laughs> like actually, they're not nude. No, they're not nude. It's just like a dude in a speedo. You know. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> and I got news for you. That means you're gay. I didn't. Put, I didn't look. I mean, I barely looked at it. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm gay. I just barely looked at it. So who's gay? Who is gay? I think he probably is, not me. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Um, so I'm off the website. I was back to number one when Love waged an all-out war to, to downvote everyone else. And now there's more interesting developments. Um, what else? So here, here I'm just going to show you. I've got kind of the... Is this, is this what the state was after you downvoted everyone? Or is this what it looked like before they banned me? Oh, I can't see your screen, but... It's Daniel, Moses, Zach, Bobby Lee. <laughs> yeah, that must be after. So, that was it, after they banned us. And then we yeah. actually, there was there was full-on mutiny on the Wikifeet. Uh, we have insiders in the Wikifeet, like, guild, which is, like, their top users, and they're sending okay, us screenshots. Man. Oh, you just fucking outed them, dude. Well, I gotta show the screenshot. Oh, they're gonna know how oh. I got it. I didn't say who it was. Okay. We have right. spies on the inside. No, we don't. How do we get this? I is a private mess. This is from the private forum. We literally have spy, we have infiltrated Wikifeed at every level. We didn't do anything. Not only is so here, here's the inner uh conversation going on. Not only have his fans uh messes, not only have his fans messed others' galleries, but they've also created galleries of his own crew and given them astronomical ratings. I'm sorry, I believe those feet got rated on their own merit. Can you disable the ratings on Dan Swordlove and Zach's page too? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Zach's still number one. Feet. Here's one. I found evidence that Ethan Klein's fan rated other celebs one star to keep Ethan at the top. I did not do that. I didn't even know this was going on. This is completely unacceptable. It is one thing to ask your fans to rate you favorably. It's a whole different matter when galleries are affected. I am disabling <laughs> ratings on this page and deleting all false votes made by Ethan Klein fans. Hey, I didn't do that. That was love. He's in Sweden. This is an international issue. Get Interpol involved. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fit. They say, Holy. I would delete the entire goddamn gallery at this point. This is straight up rigging. Oh and he God. doesn't deserve to have a gallery for this shit. <laughs> now, remind you guys, this is Wikifeed. So it's not, you know, that's what, that's kind of why I like to w wage war here is because it's, it's really, like it's just Wikifeed, you know? I didn't do this though. I I swear to God, I had no idea this was going on. You know, um, but here we we've struck back, and we've made up a website called Ethan's Feet, a place where I'll never be below five stars. <laughs> here, this is Ethan'sFeet.com. Wow. <laughs> uh, Love was working on this. 
Oh, what happened? Okay. Ethansfeet.com, guys. This is a real website that we've made. Where Wait, I'm, what oh, are those comments? At you can top? always vote five stars. Yeah, there's tweets about it. Um, <laughs> Kanye tweeted, you better have, you have way better feet than Kim, he said. Whoa. Interesting. Is Kim, does Kim have a wiki feed page? She must. Um, Dan, Dan the Hater said, it would be <laughs> funny if AB got a higher wiki feed score than Ethan. <laughs> Not on this website, hater ass, <laughs> hater ass Dan. <laughs> Once half, like zero stars. And then even Keemstar said, I would never say this on my main, but I love Ethan's feet. <laughs> even Keemstar admits. <laughs> Shoe size 22. What? I feel like that's the whole size of my body, 22 foot. <laughs> you know, but but guys, the war. So this is kind of our shrine where I'll always have five stars. I nice, love that. But we're not done, okay? Mm. I am not done. With wiki feet, it's not right. First of all, they don't. This first of all, they do not. This, I have a constitutional right to be on wiki feet. <laughs> well. They cannot refuse me service. Mm. They're stealing it. Mm -hmm. nice. Okay, and so listen, we have infiltrated wiki. <laughs> we are making a push to get me back on top. We have made a very incognito account. <laughs> called Ethan Kleinscroft. We're currently at seven out of five. Someone already gave us one stars. The haters are coming in. But what we've done is that we've edited it to make it, oh, this one, oh, oh they're adding oh, no. it. Oh no. Wait, who is that? Okay, well here, let me go to the get. People are already adding? Okay, so, <laughs> Ethan Kleinscroft. They're all disguised. Me, what covered with the map. You can't tell that that's me. That's Ethan mm -hmm. Kleinscroft. Mm -hmm. Seven out of five stars. I'm deep undercover. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I know his name is Ethan, and he's got beautiful feet. Mm. <laughs> I'm deep undercover. <laughs> right. Here, you can't tell it's me. Wow. <laughs> Bag over my head. And that's how Eli likes to have sex with me. <laughs> oh, people are already adding photos, so. Cat's out of the bag, but. Who's the second photo? This? Not you, is it? I think that. Oh, that's, that's a fan. Oh, somebody must have just added their... Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, come on. This is not a joke. Don't make a joke out of this. All right, guys. We're up to... Dude, we're up to 7.42. I have never seen a rating that high. Now, let's go to site rating. And just into... I think they're going to... Oh! <laughs> Ethan's Kleinscroft. Back number one. <laughs> number one! <laughs> the high... Someone take a screenshot because we're at 7.42. I've never seen a rating that high. That is the highest rating I've ever seen. We're back at number one, guys. So we're just gonna keep it cool, keep it low profile. Ethan Kleinscroft. <laughs> oh no! Hey, hey, hey. Wait, someone dared to give it four stars. I'm sorry. Yo, that that one four star rating took away like a whole, wow. a whole point value. Wow. Rough, tough crowd, huh? Yeah. So that's exciting. So we'll keep checking in on this. Wow. But we're number one for now. <laughs> we are number one, officially. Um, so, you guys keep me updated as things develop. That's Sounds exciting. Good. Will do. Ila? But keep, but don't tell anyone. We no. are coming, and <laughs> we are coming in waves! I mean, I, listen, WikiFeet, they, they think they can get rid of, they think, I'm the true king. It's like, you can't exile the king. And it's like I'm number one. I, that's my seat of power. Not you, but uh, Klein Scott. Right. I got a chance. Klein Scott, whoever that is. Yeah. Not me. Mm hmm. They don't know who they're messing with. And speaking of the foghorn of war, oh, by the way, there's all these wiki feet memes that you guys have been making. Let's see. Foot soldiers, wiki feet mods. Oh my god. Moses, Lord of Foot Fairies, Dan the Betrayer, <laughs> dead, face down, which is where he belongs on this on this field of battle. <laughs> Tell Ethan I want him to know it was me, Dan. That the one's fucking amazing. Great betrayer. With the, co the color block down. Yeah. <laughs> you are a fucking betrayer, dude. That is you. <laughs> Did you tank everyone on Wikifeed so Ethan would be number one again? Yes. What did it cost? Everything. They're good. <laughs> yeah, these are good, actually. Wiki feet. What does that say? Palm de foot winner? 
It's just a little Photoshop. Game of Toes. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am inevitable. Uh, wow. And of course, <laughs> there's no such thing as a coincidence with Thanos. Wiki feet mods, foot soldiers, Ethan. Yeah, it's a great, uh, man, renaissance. It's a whole biblical battle playing out on Wiki feeds right now. There's no such thing as a coincidence. See, I'm seeing reports that WikiFeet is down. I think we may have crashed. <gasps> what? The site. Oh, shit. See, that's what I'm saying. They, they can't. They oh, no, can't. I, it, it's still up. But, uh. How am I, am I still oh, The one? trolls beware uh, warning symbol is back up. Right. Mm. I just resent that instead, like, is insinuation that we're trolls. No, WikiFeet is definitely down for me. Was that a soundbite? What was that? Oh my god, I heard a clap of thunder. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. It's probably just next door or something. It sounded like I heard a, a clap of thunder, like a biblical <laughs> clap of thunder, you guys. I swear to God. There's biblical no such moment. thing as a coincidence. <laughs> I think I'm energetically aligned with you all right now. <laughs> okay, we're still number one. Good. Wow, that spooked me. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Ela, we are energetically aligned right now. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Okay, speaking of war, you know, Zach put together this fantastic video submission for Kraft's Mayo competition. And they have been snubbing Zach. Zach's been having a little bit of a meltdown, actually, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Zach, tell me about, tell me about, um, Tell me about uh, your emotions, how you've been feeling, just knowing that they've been snubbing you. I mean, it 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 sucks. Like it it, it fucking sucks. Like, and they, they you know are retweeting other people that, quite frankly, don't have shit on me, and right. uh, you know, not to put anyone down like that, but they don't have shit on me, and um, it just like I'm totally being snubbed. Like, no retweets, no acknowledgement. Didn't they like it? They liked it, but that's just like, oh, okay. You know, that's not it. enough. You're right, because they've been, they've been retweeting Why not other people's videos. I don't know. So I've been trying to wreck. Do we have the video? I want to show people kind of just who, who maybe missed it. I'll just show it briefly. Um, it should be on the podcast Twitter. You know, we made this whole... You guys spent all day. You guys spent a lot of the time investing in this and talking about craft mail. We ruined the, uh, the uh, asphalt. It's all stained with my... Yeah, have you guys noticed that there's permanent Zach footprints on the asphalt oh in the parking God. lot now oh, from that? Oh, that. there's... there's <laughs> yeah. From the oil and the mayo. <laughs> what? When he got out of it, if you go out there, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's, like, footprints all over. I all saw around. the... Um... Really, craft mayo? You're not even... Here it is. ...gonna acknowledge. So what I was... Dude, 13,000 likes. I mean, peace and love. Nobody's holding a candle to that. 200,000 views. So... What I was wondering, because originally at Zach, there was like some edgy jokes and stuff. I was like, you got to take all the edgy stuff out because Kraft is not going to, they're going to want a family, family, family manage. Family. Gonna, go, yeah. And so what I'm wondering is if there was something edgy left in here. Well, I went through and there was absolutely no cursing whatsoever. Hi. How you doing today? My name is Zach Lewis. What's wrong with this video? Zach There's Simon. nothing wrong with this video. I think I'm just too sexy, man. I think that's Today, the problem. I'm going to show too you too sexy for mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm the true mayo man, and why? I Maybe the they thought you were making a mockery of the mayo. Are you mocking the mayo? Absolutely not. I respect it. Yeah, I mean, you just took a shot of it, bro. I mean, that's respect. <laughs> Oh, that's where the sh the toe shot came from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's all. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Okay, I mean, I'm a sexy beast. Maybe that's it. You know. Did they think this was appropriate? Like inappropriate? Maybe they thought it was gross. I mean, they're trying to create like a viral campaign. I mean, it's Sorry, mayonnaise. You guys are missing the point. It's mayonnaise. Nobody gives a fuck about mayonnaise. Nobody's on a mayonnaise page unless we send them there. They're gonna ignore this masterpiece. But somehow look for a viral moment. We this is the viral moment. Maybe they like, well, Manny's isn't gross. He's making it gross. I mean, I don't think so. I think he looks like a snack to me. Thank you. It's an artistic decision. I mean, I plug the shit out of him. Maybe too. the bite you took is too small here. I noticed you took a nibble. You're a little apprehensive. Maybe they could tell you were grossed out here. I, I mean, no, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, why'd you take such a small bite then? Well, I take another bite. You do? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at that reaction. Yeah, no, you loved it. Yeah. I can't even pretend like you didn't. This shot was maybe too sexual. Is this a sexual moment? Is this a sexual moment? I don't, I mean, I was just enjoying myself. I was having a good time. 
<laughs> Zach, you nasty boy, bro. I mean, maybe this, this Bukaki yeah. style. Uh, it's yeah. Oh, <laughs> but you know, I'm just, I'm just enjoying the mayonnaise. Like, what, what's wrong with that? I'm, I'm being shamed for doing that. You know. Right. I think it's. I don't think it's right that they don't even acknowledge you. There's nothing wrong with this video. It's, 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 it's frankly, it's upsetting. And you know. It's, it is upsetting, and you know, like, we've been, they know, right, like, that we're out here. Like, recently we said, you know, they reposted this other guy's, who was a fair submission, I don't want to shit on him. But what, I said, why are you ignoring Zach? 3,200 likes, and no <laughs> response from Real Craft Man. Yeah, they, they're just fucking with us. I, they're totally no, fucking No, why are they ignoring? I don't know. Why? I, and all of their comments everywhere is, what about Zach? Well, I don't understand. Yeah, literally, I, I mean, the foot soldiers have gone through and through tagging my Instagram. Well, the that. truth is, though, they don't announce the winners until June 1st, right? Right, and then there's a voting thing with the top eight finalists on the 25th. Yeah, I don't think you're going to make it to the finalist round. That's so I don't think they're going to put you up there. It's so fucked. I mean, I don't know for sure, but that just seems like they are ignoring you. This is Should one. Should we start our own mayonnaise brand? <laughs> now that's an idea. Well, I was thinking about maybe endorsing a different mayonnaise brand. I won't say the name because we won't go there yet. Their brand would want us. No, they they don't. I'm saying they don't. We don't need their permission. <laughs> I'll just go full all out. But I, what if we create our own brand and Zach is the? Do you want to start dabbling mayonnaise? <laughs> Zay Zayo. Zach Mayo. Zayo. <laughs> Zayo. Oh yeah, sign me up for some Zayo. I just, I just, it's a dream come true to have a billboard. And you know, that's like the one thing that would just... Well, I'll tell you one thing. Whoever wins that billboard, if it's not you, we're buying one. <laughs> of you. Across the street. And I don't I care. Don't. And I'll, I don't care the money, I don't care the commitment, <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes and invest any dollar amount to get you that billboard, Zach. I appreciate it. I'll that. even sign a five-year lease on that. <laughs> The, the, the world may be over by the time the lease is done. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you got to put the mo your money where your mouth is on those billboards. I really appreciate that. Yeah. But, yeah, this is bullshit that Kraft is doing this. Like, just, it's a total fuck you to me and the show. So it's like... Here's what they say the judging criteria is. Passion for Kraft Mayo, 40%. The passion's 40, there. I mean, that, that's 40 out of 40. Yeah, that's 40 out of 40. Either. Originality, 30%. I'm sorry, who else took a bath? Thank you. Personality, 30%. Yeah. Uh, personality. Oodle. <laughs> Oodles. There's, mo there's as much personality in that bathtub as there is mayonnaise. True. <laughs> they just better, uh, I'm just, I have a bad feeling they're not going to put them on there. Because they, uh -huh. they're just ignoring. It's just not okay. And I, I know we, 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 you know, threaten this the, towards the beginning of the conversation, but, you know, they're, I'm going to take a big stance against this. And Should we take you... a legal action? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a big stance against this, and you know what it is. You know? Well, here's a big stance. We created, uh, oh. did you know that Kraft Mayonnaise has a wiki feed page? <laughs> <laughs> Not a good score, by the way. 3.91. Yeah, real Kraft Mayonnaise. Though. Oh, look at that. We should say, the audience shouldn't necessarily tank this yet, but just know that if Zach doesn't win... <laughs> There will be consequences. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Like there will be consequences, <laughs> real craft mayonnaise. I will say that. It's, it's this is not a threat, but there will be dire grave <laughs> consequences. <laughs> if you do not at least put our boy on the top. I mean, I, I looked I looked back at the other submissions, and like I said, no one holds a fucking candle. To well, like, okay, maybe, well, well, let's not, let's not trash on the other submitters, but, like, you definitely deserve to be acknowledged and put in the finalists. Fucking A. Like, I, just, fuck, it's so bullshit. Dan, you said he was, like, screaming. He was, like, genuinely upset. I, I was here at the studio. I was setting up on the stage, and he was at the front of the building, and I just hear him going off. I don't think he was even talking to everybody. He was really? <laughs> you were just I was, you were maybe he was talking to AB. I don't know, but he was he was he was. This was off camera. Well, it's not right what they're doing. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was very upset. Fucking livid. Like, <laughs> we need to I, march on Washington. Seriously, man, I, 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 I I'm, I'm speechless because you know I, it's just so fucked because I am the fucking mayo man, and they're just. 
fucking me right now. Okay. He was talking to me. We were trying to put something together, mm. and he kept just walking away while, I'm tr- while I needed him to hold it up. And he's <laughs> fucking craft mayo, kept walking away while I'm trying to put it together. And Dan's like, what are you guys doing out there? I'm like, Zach is leaving me stranded while I'm trying to put together this uh, TV stand. I almost threw my phone. Like I was, he was uh, pissed. He just kept walking away. Like I, At first, I said as a joke, I'm like, bro, I, I really need you to hold this up. It's heavy. <laughs> he kept walking away, coming back. But yeah, he was Zach, mad. Zach, pull your shit together, man. Whatever happens, uh, we're going to make it right by you. Well, you understand? You. I appreciate You got nothing to worry I about. that thank billboard. You. Either through love, through war or peace, we will make it happen for you. Uh, I think it's going to be more. And if you guys, war. here is Kraft Mayonnaise wiki page, so you know what to do with this. <laughs> show them Show them we mean business. Do we need presence in, Swe- in Sweden because of love? Like, get a <laughs> billboard in Sweden, too? Oh, Stockholm represent? Represent in Stockholm? <laughs> That'd be cool. International, Zach, number one? Yeah. It's not a bad idea. But I, I appreciate all the love and support from everybody. And uh, Of course, you dude. Know. You know we got your back. This is this is outrageous. Yeah. They're stealing it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, guys. Just to be clear, I see the rating going up on Craft Mail. <laughs> <laughs> Should we make Craft Mail number one on the website? Oh, yeah. <laughs> not for sure. But uh, then they're going to ban me. If we make Craft Mail number one, they're definitely going to ban me. I mean, that ship sailed at this point. Yeah, by the way, the com- <laughs> by the way, no, you're already banned. <laughs> the comments... Um, Everybody knows it's us. Although they piss me off, I gotta admit that the foot soldiers are hilarious sometimes. <laughs> and that's from ToeJob69. Hi, ToeJob. Toe oh, ToeJob69 was one of the main haters, actually. I remember oh. that name. Yeah, he gave it, it says he gave it a one star, but I think that's what we want. But I think he's trying to hate, but he's actually <laughs> fulfilling the prophecy that we've set forth. Right. So this is to- ToeJob69, it's one of our main haters. <laughs> yeah, I remember when we, when we got those... Uh, when our mole uh, <laughs> shared the information from the guild with us. I love that they call themselves the guild. The toe guild. <laughs> the toe guild. Or the foot guild. Yeah, I remember that that name stuck out to me because it's really weird. I tell you what, Wiki Feet guild, the toe guild, you can banish me, but you will miss the days of battle. You will be like, damn, I miss having Ethan Klein number one. Mm. I'm just saying. I mean, we've brought... An immense amount of traffic to their website, mm-hmm. and, pay me. and though I'm sure the vast majority of our audience is just participating in the gag, I mean, five percent actually are jerking off. The that's feet on what their I'm website. saying. They're like, oh wow, this is this yeah, is my fetish. There is definitely a, a large number of people that are sticking around, and I'm still number one. <laughs> just an update. Thank you. Uh, we have to uh, do our break. Oh, we do already. Uh, we're actually at 37 minutes. Holy. Oh. Frick. Time's flying, yeah, baby. So fast. Um. Anyway, you know. Uh, we will we will find you justice, Zach. Everybody's wondering if Toe Job is watching by any. Toe Job sixty nine, call in. <laughs> if you're watching, let us know. I want to talk to you. Yep. Yeah, I'd love to talk to Toe Job. I think he's keeping it anonymous, though. It's kind of. Oh, we have c- more comments. Um. Ethan Klein people giving low rating to everyone who goes near five stars, so he gets number one. Seems like the mail site has been given a roof for the rating, since Ethan Klein has only five of five. And it doesn't seem to be any more gorgeous pages. Gorgeous pages. That's awesome. I don't know, but it's (laughs) awesome. All right. Guys, today we thank the people who are supporting our lawsuit. HBO's like, hey, don't bring me into it. (laughs) Dude, I love HBO Max. Bro, this is a HBO Max sponsor right here. But I found out something. Yeah. Ah, HBO Max is so awesome. First of all, I love their app. But they have like, um, how did they call it? Like sister sites or, or uh, like if there's an know. option. They bought ser- other services, I yeah. guess. Like they have Crunchyroll on there and all these other services. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. There's so much content. The anime portion was huge. And it's really nice categorized like you have dubbed you have everything dude crunchyroll is amazing if you like anime and like that comes with hbo max and there's i don't remember the other ones but there's a bunch of other stuff too oh they had like studio ghibli right crazy many of us are plumbing uh plumbing the depths of our streaming platform searching for something new to watch looking for an entertainment fix and if that's true for you boy do i have a suggestion hbo max has same day movie premieres that's true also of the biggest movies of 2021 every single month. That's right, the biggest Warner Brothers pictures will be released, be available in theaters and your living room the same day. Dude, I love it. I love HBO Max. I really do. 
Um, I watched. What did I watch? I recently watched Mortal Kombat. I liked it. I don't know. A lot, uh, there was some. I hear a lot of people liked it actually. I heard a lot of people hated it. There was a lot of ups. I think I went in with like zero uh, expectations, and I love that I was at home. I didn't have to like. The thing is, when you get invested in going to the theater and doing all this shit and making plans, then you have more expectations for a film. But because I was able to watch it on HBO Max movie premiere on the and the comfort of my own living room, uh, I was I I liked it a lot. They also just some suggestions for you guys that have the Heights, the musical event that celebrates the meaning of home. You can't go wrong with the creator of Hamilton and the director of Crazy Rich Asians, The Heights. Also, Space Jam, the new Space Jam, a new legacy. You knew and loved the original, and now The Jam is back with NBA champ and icon LeBron James going in an epic ride with Toon Bugs Bunny. Toon Bugs. Why am I. Toon Bugs. Why does it say Toon Bugs Bunny? I know Bugs Bunny. Who's As Toon opposed Bugs? to the live action Bugs Bunny, yes. <laughs> oh, a live action event? Oh, God. These titles and many more will be available in theaters and on HBO Max for a limited time and at no extra charge to subscribers. Release dates are subject to change, so get on in it and sign up for HBO Max at HBO uh, MA dot A X. What the fuck is this link, Dan? Okay, let me, let me do this again. It's, 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 HB, it's in the description. Yeah, you could just it's say it's that. HBO MA. Mother F, this is the weirdest link ever, bro. Yeah, I, it's HBOM dot AX. Correct. HBOM. This what is HBO? You got it. You get. You got better URLs than this. <laughs> HBOM dot AX slash H three May. <laughs> Bruh, it's in the link. Yeah, just go to the description and click it. One more time, because I don't want them to make me do it again. HBOM dot ax slash h3 may hbo you can do better urls than that but i love your service thank you love it one more from shady rays oh jesus <laughs> uh let's see shady rays is a s beautiful sunglass company everybody loves sunglasses right yeah let's pull up their website let's see what kind of stuff we got on shady rays Ooh, they got these woody frames, bro. I love these woody frames with polarized sunglasses. Lost broken protection. You like those woody frames? Mm-hmm. What's going on in this? Oh, look how fuck this guy's so fucking sick, bro. He's <laughs> putting stones. Like, bro, this is the kind of dope ass dude who wears sh sh shady rays. What? Who's got a puka shell? Why would you bring that up? <laughs> Dan. No. Shady rays people don't wear puka shell necklaces. Stop. <laughs> They're cooler than that. Ooh, like a icy kind of fibery lens, bro. And this guy's like on a hike somewhere, nice, <laughs> hiking around, exploring. Not puka shells. <laughs> you know, six thousand six hundred reviews. It Hold comes up. in all that colors. Yeah. Oh. I oh, this is the lens. Cool. I love that woody one, man. Get that woody, bro. Get a woody <laughs> with that woody. Black ice. If your performance, yo, so sick. So many styles. Listen, let me tell you about Shady Rays. Um, my yeah, here, live, dead air. <laughs> Listen, they're high quality shades for way less than the expensive brands. They've got one of the best warranties in the sunglass industry. And if you lose or break that your sunglasses, they're gonna replace it with a lifetime craftsmanship warranty. Plus, they donate 10 meals to fight hunger in America with every order. Hmm. 10 meals. Oh, I need 10 meals. I haven't eaten all day. I don't understand why sunglasses are so expensive, you know? Shady Rays is on a mission to change that. They're an independently owned sunglass company, and they do everything their way. It's very rare in this industry. They make premium polarized shades at a fraction of the price of the big name brands, so you're not going to overpay anymore. You're going to get the same amazing quality with this warranty stop it stop paying those crazy prices bro they start at just 48 dollars hold pairs in hand try them on do whatever you know 48 bucks come on they also provide 10 meals to fight hunger in america with every order 
and they've donated over 15 million meals to date. They stand behind their product and have told their team that if anyone has a problem, they will throw profit out the window and do whatever it takes to make it right. They once got a complaint about glasses they didn't like, and the owner was like, Fuck, dude! And he fucking shot, he like started breaking windows and shit in a rage. He's like, I refuse to sell glasses. He was so angry that this one person didn't like it. He flew to his house and he's just with a bucket of glasses. Mm -hmm. He's like, take them all. Mm -hmm. That, uh, your experience may vary. <laughs> that didn't happen. Look at my, oh, this is a mess. Look at my document. It's over here. <laughs> and they don't see that. Why is it over there? Okay, confusing. Uh, so, change the way you wear sunglasses and give Shady Rays a risk-free shot. We're thinking, we think you're going to love them, and if you're, they're not for you, you can return them for free anyway. Exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is running their deepest deal of the season. Use code H3 for 50% off two or more pairs at ShadyRays.com. Buy one, get one free. That means you can get two pairs for $48. Redeem only at ShadyRays.com, where you can find all their newest and best shades. Use code H3. Thank you. All right. Nice. Thank you, thank you, with peace and love. Um, the chat is having a mini meltdown. Why? What happened? They think that Ian is uh, not here or something? I don't know. Hmm? I'm looking right at him. <laughs> I think he just had, nobody's cut to him yet. Show Ian. He's here. Yeah, Ian's here. Ian. I think uh, we Ian. probably should explain. Uh, newer viewers might not know this, but um, prior to the pandemic and the move to the basement, Ian would switch, and I would just be doing the producing. But because we were trying to keep the cross-contamination as minimal as possible, I was basically doing everything over the course of the last year. I was at the house switching and doing the audio and everything. But we're back, so Ian's switching again. So that's Ian, that's why he's... Uh, Back there behind me, uh, handling business. Ian, please stand up. <coughs> Can you stand up, please, Ian? <laughs> Ian, stand up. Stand the F up. Let's go. Ian. Let's go. Ian. There it is. We love you, Ian. Ian, how you doing lately? You feel good? You all right? <clears throat> yes. Doing good? Am I torturing you? Do you are you miserable? Easy. Well, people think I'm like torturing him because he's just, you know, I, are you okay? <laughs> are you healthy? Are you being well treated? I am not wearing pants. Oh. Oh, what? Mm, That's not appropriate. No. That, Ian, hmm? can you at least that, answer the question? They think hmm? I'm holding you like captor or something. <laughs> no, no, it's great. And I'm getting a lot of exercise because I have to stand up like every time you talk to me. <laughs> so I'm staying fit. You don't have to stand up. Just use your mic. <laughs> that air. Ian, I can't get away. Okay, I'm just. I thought Zach what was going to play the stand up. <laughs> All right, moving <laughs> on. <laughs> I'm just trying to talk to Ian because people think that like Ian's miserable and that I'm holding him captive and, uh, but but we're dispelling that right now. You are here on your own free will, right, Ian? That is right. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I and are you being are you being treated well? Are they are you being fed? Oh, here. Let me get the script again. <laughs> uh, Ethan Klein loves me. Uh, he takes care of me. He is a legend. Huh. Five star man. Thank you. You guys see? Nice. That was very everything okay. organic. <laughs> I've been chugging the water. All right. You want to talk about Joe Rogan? <laughs> The reason why we're all here today. Bro. Toe Rogan. Jogan. Does Joe Rogan have a wiki feed page? He must, right? <laughs> sure. I've never visited Joe's For wiki sure feed page. Does. Let's see what kind of toes this this uh, Toe Rogan has. He looks like a toe. Ooh, brutal. I don't know if... The th I don't know if we had anything <laughs> to do with that, but he's been brutalized. <laughs> Holy shit. One star. I doubt that we don't have anything. You think so? <laughs> Someone's got to show this to Joe. <laughs> Whoever's the guest. I didn't do anything, but I Lots find one star kind of suspicious. Yeah, one star is like brutal. That's brutal. <laughs> Love him. <laughs> his photos are amazing. Dude, he's got he's got weights on his feet and his hands. <laughs> Love that. Um, so he has one star. Um, so Joe Rogan, first of all, okay. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, Joe. 
but look at him. Oh, look. Look at him. he came after Ela. He literally <laughs> called Ela an idiot. <laughs> like I can't believe this conversation we're about to have. Um, Joe Rogan called Ela our queen, an idiot. I kind of feel like it's a flex for me. Like it's a big flex. I could be like, "Yo, Joe Rogan called me dumb." Right. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Still have an infinitely higher IQ than Banks. <laughs> Here's the clip. Let's watch it. Now, Whitney Cummings, she's a friend of ours, so, you know, I love Whitney. But I don't know the context of this. Has anyone watched this? They were, they were, Whitney was throwing these parties at her house. Now, let me remind you, this is during the height of the pandemic. People were not even supposed to be gathering at the time. Yeah. Everyone there was supposed to be wearing a mask. The first time I think I was invited, I didn't go... Second time, I was like, I mean, it does look really fun. I haven't done anything in, like, months. It's and outdoors. And she said, basically, it's outdoors. Everyone's getting taste tested. So, you know. Um, so I decided to go, but I was super paranoid about even going. And I was very uncomfortable going to that party, you know, just not that I was yeah. forced to do it, but I, it was a very uncomfortable experience. It was during the worst time of the pandemic. Yeah. The city there was there saying, was no, don't gather. There was no talk of a vaccine or anything at that time. Right. And it was like surging. And, you know, um, yeah. So, and we, we had, we were trying to be very careful because of our son and our nanny and, and people in our, you know. Everyone. Yeah, I have my parents. Very, I have uh, employees to worry. Like, I'm not trying to give anyone COVID in my life. So everyone there was <laughs> technically supposed to be wearing a mask. And this was during a time, by the way, when we were shitting on a lot of influencers who were being super irresponsible, going and not wearing masks Having and stuff. COVID parties. So, so it's like, you know, we don't want to be caught fucking being hypocrites, you know. Hila was there. She was protected. She was wearing a mask. It was outside. And um, listen to what Joe fuckface Toe Rogan sauna boy I had to say about it that's Olivia Munn who's wearing the mask that is Hila Klein Olivia's not she's a gangster look at her in the <laughs> she's a gangster giving all the COVID <laughs> meanwhile people have been look at this outside with a mask on and everyone's tested that's so what's good. so dumb so it's not wow. so dumb <laughs> dipshit first of all I don't know why he keeps insisting on this war against like dude again even if it was taken yesterday, why do you fucking care why if someone's wearing a mask? Care, you don't, you know, seriously. why is he, he, he's, he can't give what up on this What are you trying COVID to prove so thing. wrong, bro, Jogan? What are you trying to prove so wrong? That you're a gangster? Look at him. He's, he's, All right, too, gangster. Well, he's too invested in, like, hating COVID. It's, like, part of his identity Because now. he's a tough guy. He doesn't need a mask. That's for pussies. Even. Yeah, he said pussies are, are for ma are pussies are for masks. I mean, I thought he, people said that he was joking when he said that, but um, that doesn't look like he's joking. So that Bill, seems like a theme now that I've seen over a few episodes. Well, yeah, he, so Bill Burr called him out when he said, he, around this time, ironically, mm -hmm. where this actual video was shot, Joe Rogan said masks are for pussies on his show, which is like, bro, I can't get over what a dumb statement that is, but Bill Burr set him straight immediately. And he's always been trying to be like, oh, I'm just kidding. But he keeps saying shit like that, which shows that, like, he clearly is not kidding. The whole fucking time, there's been fucking assholes on my street walking around, no masks, you know, not s quarantining like the people that come by the houses. You see the fucking, you know, the same people that were going in and out of the house who are not part of their family still going in and out of the house. You want people to walk down the street with a mask on? Let's not start this, job. Do you, though? Let's not start this. I love how Bill was like, mm -hmm. you fucking dumbass. Yeah. And this is the height of the pandemic. This isn't really like a debate, like yeah. a mainstream debate. I mean, except beyond like total partisans, like QAnon people, you know what I mean? Like the only people that were saying don't wear a mask are people that are like, they're stealing it. Wearing a mask is a symbol of oppression. They're just trying to control us. So this is like some really... Alpha to the moon shit. Okay. Well, you know what I, I don't want to step about this. I'm not gonna sit. Like my respect for Bill Burr went up like yeah. times one thousand because I just feel like I don't know everyone like just kind of like caves to Bro Jogan. Mm -hmm. And um, he's alpha. What do you expect? And Bill Burr is like. He, he was so quick to be like, no, 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 no. That's you true. don't even go there. 
Bill is this amazing force that he cannot, yeah. he will never be influenced or cave. Yeah. Like, I feel like other comedians go on there, and then all of a sudden they turn into like, uh, I, Trish always says this, but like, pick me people. Where they're like, oh, Joe Rogan, yeah, smoke, I'm down for whatever you say, or right. cool, and yeah, fucking masks. But Bill Burr was like, fuck you, idiot. Love that. I here with no medical degree, listening to you with no medical degree, <laughs> with an American flag behind you, smoking yeah. a cigar, <laughs> acting like we know what's up better than the CDC. All I do is I listen, I watch the news once every two weeks. I'm like, eh, mask or no mask? Still mask? All right, mask. That's all I give a fuck about. I don't care. But even they say you shouldn't wear a mask unless you're treating a coronavirus patient. No, the world no. Health they yeah, but they didn't say that initially. They didn't say it initially. No, they didn't. They did. And then it gradually, then it gra they, and then, wait, wait, thank wait, you, and then Bill. everybody wore thank the fucking you. mask. This is like rollerblading. Everybody fucking rollerbladed, and then there was that one fucking homophobic joke, and then everybody acted like they never did it. Thank you, Bill. And then a, a hundred million fucking rollerblades got thrown into the fucking ocean. We all wore masks, and then all of a sudden, people are fucking sitting there. What? You don't have the body type for it, dude. The fucking numbers would scrape on the ground. <laughs> Even with that extra two inches. <laughs> Your knuckles would scrape on the ground. Uh... <laughs> Man, Bill Burr traumatized me though. <laughs> There's still a part of me that's just scared of him. Or like just traumatized. <laughs> Even though we had like a good uh second we half. Had, yeah. The follow up episode yeah. with him was great. It was yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um you know, like dude, really and then that, so it's like imagine it's like Olivia but Munn it's, is it's, awesome. Ela Klein, dumbass. God, it it's such a short clip and so much to unpack. But Girl, it's like Bill you. said. I'm following the rules. Back then, they said you gotta wear a mask, so I'm out there wearing a mask. Yeah. Wow, big deal. And then now they say, you know, if you're outside, you don't need to wear a mask. It's pretty simple. You want to talk about who's dumb? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a whole, there's a whole, the CDC is like this whole governmental body with scientists and shit that just tell us what to do. You don't have to think about it, dude. Wearing the mask. That is Who's wearing a mask? Who's that fucking Who's wearing loser? a mask? Who's that piece of shit? Yeah. I want to name her. Can that person come up and like go shove themselves? Fine. Olivia's not. She's a gangster. Look at her in the front <laughs> row. Fuck it. Give me all the COVID. <laughs> Meanwhile, people have been, look, look at this, outside with a mask on and everyone's tested. That's so what's good. so dumb. So Hey, That's Joe, what's my so own dumb. fucking Okay, business. you want to talk about dumb. <laughs> the, the testing doesn't mean anything. You yeah. can get tested fine, but it doesn't give you the guarantee there's a fake, you know, there's a false, uh, false negative. Yep. You can get that and then you would still give it to everyone in the party. Sorry, I don't want to do that to other people. I don't want right. to be the one that's going to end up giving 20 people by accident because my test didn't work that one time. Um, give them COVID and then they give it to their mom and their mom dies. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. You know, again, I keep okay, going back. The White House. about who's gangster and who's dumb. Dude, I think that I think being a male means protecting the people. Right. Well, I'm not. Giving, I don't want to get into like stereo, gender stereotypes. But like even the traditional male stereotype that he loves, males are supposed to protect people, right? Like, so what the fuck is protective about being a douche and fucking spreading COVID to people? By the way, the White House super spreading event was outside and everyone was tested. One person came with COVID and a bunch of people got it and almost died, including the president. Mm -hmm. Joe Rogan's actually on the phone. He wants to defend himself. <laughs> Joe Rogan? Oh, he's he's calling in right now. The Joe Rogan yeah. Experience. During my day, Joe Rogan podcast himself. by night. Experience. 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 Hey, experience. During my day, Joe Rogan podcast right. by night. Okay. Joe? Okay. <laughs> What's going on, man? Good to see you. Joe, oh. what? Okay, thanks for calling in. Um, I wanted to ask you, why do you why, look red? Yeah, <laughs> why? See that picture. <laughs> why you look red? Yeah. We're like we're in like okay. this wave of like being evolved and not being evolved at the same mm. time, like technologically, mm -hmm. spectacularly <laughs> evolved to the point where we. Okay, can Joe, but I wanted to ask you about math. Okay, Joe, weapons we're not that. Fly robots to Mars and take pictures. Okay, and send Joe, it back can you call? Like I, Joe, I want to discuss math. If chart, you could tone it down. When it comes to like technology and our ability can you hear me? to manipulate Joe? the world this around Joe? us and create giant oh, yeah, buildings he, and structures. You can definitely hear you, yeah. And it yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. But the, the monkey interaction. Joe, thing, I wanted to ask you, but that is really so interesting about war. monkeys, but I wanted to ask you about we math. We send people over with metal tanks and guns yeah. All right. and shoot people okay. and protect Thank you, Joe. people from the other people that are shooting Yeah, people. you can hang up on him. 
That guy is not. That guy is. That was weird. I can't chill for a second. Just talk about the issue. At hand. Yeah, he just kind of seemed like he had Talking what he wanted to talk. And shit. Yeah, he had what he wanted to talk about and just wasn't really listening. Hmm. Yeah. You know, Joe Rogan got was also in the news recently for saying here. Actually, here let's watch the clip. He said something about white men can no longer exist. Uh, here, let me play it. You can never be woke enough. That's the problem. It keeps going. It keeps right. going further and further and further down the line. And if you get th to the point where you capitulate, where you agree to all these demands, it will eventually get to straight white men are not allowed to talk. Right. Because it's your privilege right. to express yourself when other people of color have been right, silenced right, right. throughout history. It, it will be, you're not allowed to go outside right. because Holy so shit. many people were imprisoned for so many years. I mean, I'm not joking. No, wait, well, well, I didn't no, hear the whole thing. Kidding. What? Wait, wait. Like straight kidding, white right? men are not going to be able to go outside? <laughs> I didn't watch this whole clip. This is a logical Sorry, conclusion. Um, did you see this previous clip where you yourself were just talking some really dumb shit to um, another comedian and no one said anything to you and you were sitting there getting paid and doing whatever the fuck you want? <laughs> Yeah, uh, He's straight white male are not going to be able to go outside. But, you know, okay, let me let me finish the clip because this caught me by surprise, the whole can't go outside thing. That seems to me more interesting than <laughs> the beginning, the part that he was quoted there. for. It's that crazy. You yeah. know, we just got to be nice to each this other. This guy literally laughed and at him. Th there's a lot of people that are taking advantage of this weirdness in our culture, and then that becomes their thing. Their thing is calling people out for their privilege, calling people out for their position. You know, it's so... Uh, Your turn. Maybe activism? Crazy oh. times. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny to me? Well, here, Joe, do you want... Okay, Joe's back on the line. Yeah, we got him back <laughs> if we want to... So, okay, okay, Joe, do you want to maybe have a more nuanced conversation about the, the white male? The Joe Rogan, Rogan experience. I do this every time. He doesn't talk, but he's got his big intro. Okay. Hello. What's going on, man? Good to see you. All right, Joe. Hi. Joe, I wanted to ask you about your comments about, do you th really think that white, straight men are not going to be able to leave their house? Uh, that about men who decide they're women who want to use the girls' room. Fuck Roseanne Barr. Everyone's mad. Everyone is so mad. And while all this is, is all this weird is personal <laughs> interaction <laughs> shit is happening, that's Joe, I wanted to talk about house, woke the more culture. Up, the the better AI gets. It's like we're, AI. we're AI. falling <laughs> into this off the rails hole. Again. Like if this was a trap, Joe, if Joe, I was artificial intelligence. Joe, Joe can you? And I knew Joe, how to be like, well, right. you sure my mic's on? I, time and I know mine's on. So I'm Joe. We'll just plant this idea in their heads and just like Joe. The ass is the way to go because it's like open. Joe, we want okay. Don't have to go through the dirt. Dude is not listening. He just he has what he wants to say and he just he'll just talk about monkeys and AI and shit. And he's saying that he feels like he's going to be silenced. I mean, the guy doesn't stop he talking. Doesn't, I know. <laughs> Just shut up and listen. I want to try and have a conversation. <laughs> um, Joe, actually, I want to break this down a little bit. Cause it's, you can never be woke enough. I don't know why he, he, he won't give up on this rabbit hole of, like, the woke culture. You know, first of all, there's an inherent irony of Joe Rogan, a straight white male who's being paid $100 million plus dollars from Spotify to go on you know, out to the public and like spread COVID misinformation, for example. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, there, that's like the epitome of not being silenced. But also, woke, woke culture isn't just targeting straight white men. I mean, like, I, I, I hear him about like woke culture, but I always hear about like, um, Natalie, what's her name? What's her channel? I keep forgetting. Oh, you're talking about ContraPoints? Yeah, ContraPoints. Mm -hmm. You know, she's trans, super woke, um, person and she gets shit on by the rest of the trans community for not being woke enough mm -hmm. so it's like it's not just straight white men who, and right. you know it happens to people of color it happens to, to women it happens to gay i mean it happens to everybody so like he wants to be i don't know why straight white men they're just so desperate to be victim not all of them but like there's a whole like pity party for straight white men these days and i find it very bizarre i really do that's the problem. It keeps That's going. the problem. It keeps right. going further and further and further down the line. And if right. you get that, to the point where you capitulate, where you agree to all these demands, it will eventually get to straight white men are not allowed to talk. Right. I feel like he's just mad that people keep shitting on him for 
his dumb take. For being an idiot. Yeah. He's not an idiot. He's a gangster. Which, let's be honest, I get shit on for dumb takes all the time, right? Like, I mean, that's part of being a public figure that speaks on the microphone all the time. Sounds like free speech to me. I'm not a doctor. I'm a for fucking For people to moron. shit on you? Right. Let them say their piece, too. But there's there's certain things that Joe's been saying that's, like, dangerous. Like, the COVID shit. Like, I don't get... He's telling his audience, don't get the shot. He's saying masks are for pussies. He literally just, didn't, like, the other day... Didn't Fauci made... have to correct what Mr. Rogan <laughs> yeah, said on his podcast? Yeah. <laughs> he said young, healthy people do need to get the vaccine. <laughs> that's the whole point. We need them specifically, actually, to get the vaccine. Um... Right. Because it's your privilege to express yourself when other people of color have been silenced throughout history. It, it will be, you're not allowed to go outside because so many people were imprisoned for so many years. I mean, I'm not joking. No, you better be. Uh, you've got to be fucking kidding me, bro. You better be kidding me. I, that take is cr Dude, why, why is that not the headline? Straight white men will not be able to go outside. And I'm not joking. <laughs> people think he's joking. That's right. The guy literally laughed. Wait, I gotta go back. It's a great moment. It will be, you're not allowed to go outside because so many people were imprisoned for so many years. I mean, I'm not joking. No, I, I know, I know. It really will get there. No, he's like, no, I know, you're an idiot. I know you are, actually, just really believe that. That crazy. You yeah. know, we just gotta be nice to each other, man. And th there's a lot of people that We are... gotta be nice to each other? Shut up. You just called my wife an idiot because she wore a mask during a fucking pandemic, dick. Joe's a dick. And the dude has the most popular podcast in the world. He just got paid a hundred million dollars to Real quick, do his show for another it's, couple of years. It's it, really bizarre that him in his position he's will not. be complaining about Yeah, complaining being about silent. being silenced. It's like, bro, you like You're literally making a you have like the off of talking. You literally have like the most listened to show in the world. Yeah. Where you just smoke weed and ramble about <laughs> fucking aliens and, and AI and shit. All right. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. We actually have Joe on back on the line. Again? The Is yeah. he going to talk to us? Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> so this time I want to specifically ask him. Yeah. About the why Joe he Rogan thinks experience. he's Train being signed when he has the biggest show in the day. world. Okay. Joe, are you there? What's going on, man? Good to see you. He says the same thing every time I talk to him. It's so odd. Joe, okay. How is it that you're being silenced when you have the biggest podcast in the world? You're being paid tons of money by Spotify, hundreds of millions of dollars. And it seems to me that you are uh, not being silenced at all. In fact, you're being encouraged. Uh, oh, what, how do you justify that? Go ahead. It's the fucking human interaction part is the part that we can't get right. Mm. It's real weird. You look at all the different kinds of interactions that we manage to successfully navigate. Oh. I mean, people have obviously have problems kind of relevant. in business and there's lawsuits in business and there's okay. people that get fired and um, there's all sorts Joe, of problems with people doing business. That is very interesting, but, overall, but can you address the wokeness? done. Right? Like business keeps improving. Things keep getting better. No, I didn't I don't we need to know about business. The woke we treat each other. Like <laughs> the way human beings treat each other. We barely get what better. What is he? Uh, I Joe, okay, but don't think we're really getting through to him here. Better. Like if we're mad Joe, can at you someone please... for doing something, that's okay. we're, we're, we're like more clear This guy's apparently supposed to be a like conversationalist. I can't, he can't even, I can't, he doesn't acknowledge code, right. right? Like it's racism. Kinda... Joe! Like <laughs> what do you think Everybody about the no wokeness? We're not tolerating that. <laughs> Fuck her. Hello? Like, yep, fuck it. We're pulling the plug. Joe the Rogan. Like, like, immediate reactions. So it's like, what, I, what I'm... He's not... I don't think he's right. right. I think Thank she's, you, Joe. All right, we're cutting him off. Joe, I'm sorry. All right. The guy is for a con for for one of the greatest conversationalists of all time. The guy does not fucking listen. Yeah, he's just he can't even stick to the really question. Yeah. What a dumbass. I'm sorry. I know people like him, but man, that is just crazy to me. <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Zach, very entertained by Joe. Um, here's Fauci correcting Joe Rogan, by the way. Literally, the guy, you have such a prolific voice. 
heard by so many people <laughs> that when you go and say young healthy people shouldn't get vaccinated, the head, the fucking Dr. Fauci has to go on the news and be like, this guy's wrong. That's what a what that's what how big your voice is. That's I want to ask you, popular uh, podcast host Joe Rogan, you may have heard about this, made comments about young people getting vaccinated vaccinated. It's getting a lot of buzz. He said, if you're like 21 years old and you say to me, should I get vaccinated? I say no. If you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, I don't think you need to worry about this. Saying young, healthy people shouldn't get vaccinated. Just quickly, your response? Well, that's incorrect, Savannah. And the reason why is that's, that, ju- that's him putting it nicely. Yeah, yeah. That's you're talking about yourself in a vacuum, then. Right. You're worried about yourself. Hey, this guy knows what he's talking about. Getting infected and likelihood that you're not going to get any symptoms. But you can get infected and will get infected if you put yourself at risk. And even if you don't have any symptoms, you are propagating the outbreak because it is likely that you, even if you have no Love symptoms, that you may we inadvertently need to do like a and translation. Innocent. Like, I don't think Joe Rogan can understand this language. We need a translation. Like, even if you're a gangster, um, the virus can still break into your body and you can still be like a little pussy underneath. But, you know, you're still a gangster. <laughs> but Your so, body's a pussy. It's not yeah, your fault. It's not your fault. You're like, tough. If you don't want your mom to your be a pussy, a bitch. then if your mom <laughs> is a gangster, she could still be a pussy just because you're a pussy underneath. That's a really good translation. Yeah. Here, here's another one. If there's a if there's a whole group of chimps, and the chimps they are they're badass chimps, but like one of you the should chim- see these chimps. These chimps um, but, are amazing. Wow. But one of these chimps gets this pussy disease. Right. He doesn't know he has the pussy disease, but maybe the biggest pimp chimp there is the head chimp alpha pimp chimp Mm -hmm. gets this pussy disease from the other chimp right does he eat elk meat he he does eat elk meat not not enough i just want to put enough elements that it wasn't enough enough. not enough elk meat no he ate ate some fruits or something some pussy pussy, shit some pussy shit like apples (laughs) (laughs) yeah did you guys see this clip there's a meme of him going around too of the um Where's, can you guys link the red photo of him? Uh, y- yeah. It's been the whole time. Oh, he's but, oh okay. Yeah, that's so you guys see that. <laughs> yeah. That that was one he posted of him in his sauna. The guy is like, the guy needs to give up this whole male thing, and he's got to be gay. I'm sorry to say that, but I, I hate to uncloset him, but they, there's no way he could be that obsessed with Joe. masculinity and not be gay. Mm. There's no way. Why is he so obsessed with masculinity? The dude loves so dudes. Gay. I think. I think he's. He loves dude. I think he's deeply insecure about his masculinity because he's such a he's little, definitely trying a little to man like. <laughs> he wants to touch another man's penis because uh, he's obsessed with men. He loves their muscles. He loves their he loves their hormones. He loves everything about men. Mm-hmm. He also it stands to tell that he would also love their penis. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. But if you worship the maleness, you all the penis is like the is a huge part of the maleness. He wants to take a dick. Interesting. Science. <laughs> Maybe Dr. Fauci can speak Fauci, to that. Fauci, you got anything on that? <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> right. Lee, then infect someone else who might infect someone who really could have a problem with a severe outcome. Yeah. So if you yeah. want to only worry about yourself and not society then that's okay. But if right. you're saying to yourself, even if I get infected, I could do damage to somebody else, even if I have no symptoms at all. And that's the reason why you've got to be careful and get vaccinated. Thank you, Dr. Fauci. Legend shit. The man knows what he's talking about. Oh, here's his response. Since we're in the Joe Rogan rabbit hole, whatever. He went after my wife, you guys, you know. This is personal. It's it, like, didn't, it didn't really go after me, yeah, but it's like... After, you know, look, it, it's like a perfect storm for me. Yeah, It's I like know. the I anti-mask mean, shit, I've already and been, it's about you. Yeah, I've already been so over this guy with his dumb <laughs> ideas. And then he comes and calls me dumb. It's perfect. Yeah, it's a perfect storm. So forgive me for getting a little too amped up over Joe Rogan over here. Science behind this is yeah. not... So this is him clarifying. This is like the thing about this whole thing this uh people being upset at me i didn't say i'm not i'm not an anti-vax person right in fact i st- i mean dude stop right. do people always just, say right to him i think so just in a common thread here they they coach them before they go out just agree say right 
It's like, okay, you want to be a guest on this show? Let me hear you say right. Um, he did say don't get vaccinated, so I mean. Said, I believe they're safe, and I encourage many people to take them. My parents were vaccinated. I just said, I don't think that if you're a young, healthy person that you need it. And Their you argument were wrong, was, and that is misinformation. For, that's not what he said, though, either. He said, if somebody who's 21 and healthy asked me, I would say, and the way he said it, he goes, no, no, you should not get it other people so you don't transmit the virus that makes more sense so i'm that's, a young but that's a different argument that's i'm a, a different young conversation. Really, so that's an person. argument that Not never that crossed your dumb little mind <laughs> the, the argument that you would transmit it to other people wait why is he saying that's a different argument because because andrew is saying you take the vaccine so you don't give it to other people yeah that's not a different argument. That's the and same he's argument. That's a different argument. It's the vaccine. It's one conversation. <laughs> you said don't get it. That's, young, but that's a different argument. That's I'm a, a young, not so healthy person. You're not that young. Okay, Joe. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. You're not. Okay. <laughs> if you were a hot chick, then you'd say I was young. I'd be like, you're on the ropes. <laughs> Am I backed up a How little bit? How old are you? 37. Yeah, you're on the ropes, bro. I love Andrew. Don't say <laughs> that to him. He's a beautiful man. <laughs> anyway, that about sums it up. But yeah, I feel like Joe Rogan just turned into a place where every comedian needs to go kiss the ring. Right? It's kind of like go kiss the ring. Unfortunately, even though I, not to um, throw shade at anyone. No, it's they, just kind of like. No, I, hey, I love all these guys. Yeah. They get invited. It's this huge platform. You go kiss the ring. Kiss the toe. <laughs> Joe Rogan's calling in again. Should we take it? I don't know. <laughs> Joe Can't really Rogan. go over that grade the last few times. <laughs> Joe wants to make one more comment in defense of his show, saying that it's not just come kiss All the right. ring. Okay, he's coming back. The Joe Rogan experience. All right. Why do you have to do this every Joe, time? Come on. Just, Joe, just get to the point. Get on the. F Joe, you there? Don't you say. What's going on, man? Good to see this you. What's going thing, on, bro? Man. Don't you have more. All right, Joe. What's going on, man? You said, according to the phone screeners, you said that you wanted to defend your show and say it's not just a place for comedians to come kiss the ring. Go ahead. It's because we're scared. I legitimately feel like we're scared. And okay. I think when someone like Trump is in office, we're more scared because we realize how easy it is. Trump isn't even for, in uh, office anymore. You know, I hate to use the term regular <laughs> right. person because he's definitely not a regular person. He's very the successful DMT and very gives famous. You a... and everybody knew who he was. Oh, but like he's kind of, yeah, crazy time show traveling. Man becomes the leader of okay, the thing. Okay, Joe, 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 Joe. You said you wanted to defend your show. Up because of him. I don't know. I just just got, I'm so hate. sick of you wasting it's my time on the show. Like that, that freaks people out. That makes All people right, more. Okay, get him out of here. Get him, so get him the fuck out of here. Because I'm fucking that. idiot. That guy's fried his brain, man. <laughs> Can't keep his shit together. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 Hey, stop it. <laughs> Joe, get the fuck off my show, bro. You have your own show. It's way more popular. <laughs> what the fuck? Sick of that guy. I'm not taking his calls anymore. Can't keep it. God. There's a, a comment saying, this is the new anti-vax, saying, I'm not anti-vax, I'm just asking questions. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, what are your questions? And by the way, Joe never explained why he suggested a 21-year-old should not get the virus. Why? Because they don't need it? Because they won't die from COVID? Well, that's where, when uh, Andrew said, well, you also take it not just because of yourself, but also to not transmit it to other people. That's but a different issue. That's a whole different other argument All right, let's that talk. I never heard. All right, Joe. Okay. Joe Rogan is a giant human toe. <laughs> you know, he's got only daughters. He's like in a fully, his house is like his wife and daughters. Kind of interesting. Because, you know why? Because his nuts secrete, uh, uh, what's the Ethan, female hormone? Ethan. What's the female hormone? Move on. Moving on. Really? Estrogen. Yeah, the man is naturally an estrogen honeypot. Oh everywhere he goes, on, just estrogen man. everywhere. People like semen. Joe Rogan. Semen. <laughs> All right, you want to talk about Kendall Jenner? <laughs> this shit's pretty funny. Kendall has the worst marketing people of all time. <laughs> Oh, Vin likes that? <laughs> um, truly the worst marketing people of all time. You know, she's been getting a lot of trouble for her 
Apparently she has this 818 tequila, which everyone was already like, what? Why is she making tequila, you know? The fuck does she know? Uh, everyone's getting rich making alcohol these days. You, you know that? Like, George yeah. Clooney sold his al- was also tequila for like a billion dollars. It's a very trendy thing for, uh, for celebs. And even YouTube, uh, wasn't, Dobrik was making a oh. alcohol before, <laughs> right. before oh, yeah. he, uh, Hila, we need an alcohol. Fell off the- <laughs> I never I, drink, so I, what I should we make? I was thinking we should make mayo, but. Oh, mayo? You gotta, yeah. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the thing, too, though, that, uh, Dobrik, um. He doesn't drink. He doesn't drink at all, but right. he's selling alcohol. Yeah, he's like known for not drinking. Weird. I'll have a the sip. That one. Yeah. I hate that, by the way, the when you like go out with a friend and they're like, let's drink and they get you all right up to drink and then they don't drink. How are you going to encourage me to, me to drink? Me, How are you? What happened to you? Just like a, a f- like a girlfriend, not a, not a guy being weird, but it's she it says was let's like, go out and drink. We're all gonna go out and drink and blah blah blah, and then um, what what are you gonna have to drink? And then and then I find out like two minutes later she's not drinking. It's That's, only weird. That's weird. 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 weird, 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 <laughs> weird, bro. Can you guys look up celebrity alcohol sales? So here's Kendall on the ranch. You know she's an agave farmer. You know. <laughs> yeah, she knows all about it. Um, are we having problems? So what's the what's the criticism here that she's just pretending to care about tequila? Uh, there was I mean, a, she one clearly, picture in specific this here. <laughs> <laughs> even that first one. The, like people were like, even the window is like. Oh, it's all like. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> it's got like a trash can bag over it. Like the window broke or something, and it's a temporary fix. It's like you live in a palace in Calabasas. <laughs> <laughs> like know. that never happened to you. <laughs> and by the way, let's not pretend that there's not like a hundred people with you right now with cameras and lights and makeup and publicist and bodyguard. Just me on the agave farm. Right off the camera, there's like a hundred people here, guaranteed. <laughs> Okay, I get it. Ugh, they're so annoying. I wish they would just fuck off. <laughs> they're so annoying. And what's even yeah. worse is people that actually buy her alcohol. <laughs> That's even more annoying to me. Is people who are actually influenced by this fucking nothing of a human being. Out in the agave farm, drinking by herself. Freak. Horseback through the agave farm. Ew, also, I, maybe there's more meaning to this, but 818 is like the area code of the San Fernando Valley. Mm-hmm. It's like not a place. Literally not <laughs> Mexico. It's just a suburb of LA. Yeah, so it's like Dan. trying to appeal to... Yeah, 818 is like a bougie area yeah, code in LA. Yeah, it's like val- It's like it's the Valley Girl So wait, thing. what's the story behind 818 then? Yeah. Well, that that's why I, I qualify with this. Maybe there's some other meaning that I'm Well, let's find out. But, She's from the valley, is the thing. So that's why it's. Let's find it. out. Okay, let's find let's out. Not speculate. I think it. I think you're right. Eight one eight is our home state, California. Dude, that's so. You so you're right, Dan. It's like Kanye. It putting, is. The, the brand is presumably named after the area code for Calabasas. There you go. So exactly. It's like that's Kanye so putting. That's what I'm saying. It's just like what the Dude, hell. Dude, you seriously, you're so embarrassing. <laughs> well, the thing about like tequila farmers too is that like it's a really like, it is a really rural, rustic uh, kind of farmer, salt of the earth industry in Mexico. Like my parents live there, and you see these. Um, is it called? No, what are they called? These Agave. Yeah, it's called Agave. You see these everywhere in Mexico, and these are like real rural farmers and shit, so. Yeah, she's definitely in those, that marketing. She's trying to project to that, you know, she's just a small she town farm has, girl. Uh, just like one or two Agave plants in uh, Calabasas. She could yeah, relate. Yeah, well, they, they use them often for decorations. Right. But um, this right. fact that it's actually 818 after the Valley fucking Calabasas area code is, is honestly insane. That's culture appropriation. <laughs> oh my god, look at the, how the... Kanye also famously put the word Calabasas on a shirt. So Yeah, but at least he was like Calabasas. It says Calabasas. Right, right. Why do they like, what's, who cares about Calabasas? This is a shithole. I hate, Calabasas is not that cool. <laughs> I like, feel like I they're trying to do like I feel like that only works with other places like New York, you know. When New it's York is cool, interesting. it's cool to say New York. <laughs> Dude, on Calabasas for you guys don't. LA know. is not cool, not Cal- like that. 
Well, some place you could do some places of LA, but not Calabasas. Yeah, Santa Cruz. You could say Hollywood. That's cool, Hollywood. I mean, on kind a hoodie? of. Kind of. That's kind of chuggy. Oh, it's chuggy. <laughs> okay, but for you, for you guys, that, well, I'm, just, hey, I'm not saying I would do it. Don't get mad at me. Calabasas is the is like this rich, pure white suburb of LA. Calablacklis yeah. is what we called it growing up. Yeah, I grew up near, not in Calabasas, but near it. And yeah, I mean, it's it's it it holds up to the. I have heard that nickname sure. before. It's very like well, rich. Kanye lives there, so there's also a Hidden Hills. True. It's called a Hidden Bills. <laughs> <laughs> it in pills, probably it's true. Well, anyway, it's like a gated. It's the whole city's gated off, and it's just there's nothing there except rich people and their mansions. Yeah. It's it's not it, like Beverly Hills has like cool mystique. You can drive through their shops and stuff. Calabasas is like so fucking lame and boring. I hate it there. One I mean, Starbucks. It's, it's really nice, but like it's a really nice suburb. Yeah, it's far nice. away too. So I don't know what about this whole thing about eight one eight. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> but I don't really care. I'm just pretending to be outraged. I think it's funny. Mostly. It's funny. I'm, like, not, I'm not going on Twitter and being like, ah! I mean, the, the celebrities do this shit all the time. They're fucking just whoring. They're just like, David Dobrik was doing the same thing. It's like, what? how do I make the most money as fast as possible? But they are very tone deaf, I will say that. Because mm -hmm. if you call, recall uh, Kendall's, ooh, I feel like my finger was getting electrocuted. Uh, if you recall Kendall's Pepsi ad, <laughs> I mean, she is the queen of being, um, being out of Weird touch. Ad. Tortured artist. She kind of sucks as an artist. Can't make anything good. <laughs> we don't know what they're protesting, but we're in. <laughs> Tortured souls only. Oh, let's go. A little dance, a little music. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, it's a festival out there. You know how <laughs> protests are. Wait, so, right, is it a protest or a festival? They're protesting like, uh, they're protesting like someone murdered by, um, the police, and the guys are yeah, this... up there, like, <laughs> <laughs> dancing for joy and shit. 2017, this would have been, like, uh, when the Ferguson protests and all that was going on. Which is... Yeah, so they're out there, like... Definitely not a good time. No, no good times were happening during that. <laughs> they look, they look like a party to me. I'm ready to go protest. Looks fun. Someone get the barbecue. Uh, stupid ass song. About. What is this song? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Uh, here, I Yo, what's it. up? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Yo, she's like, I'm not interested in the protest. I just want to fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> like everything about this just missed the mark. Outfit change. Oh, God. No more bullshit. I'm gonna come. Trump loves it. <laughs> oh, and Pepsi. Oh, and then the, uh, then the protest just has like hot, nice, cool, icy <laughs> bucket of Pepsi products. <laughs> like all protests do. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. Got Diet Pepsi, Pepsi Blue, Pepsi Black. What's up, dude? You want fuck? I'm gonna impress you right now. I don't care. He's like, what are you guys protesting? I'm about to I'm about to fix this whole situation. Oh. Uh, semen is is another kind of milk. Dude, I literally am dying. I'm. This is so cringy. This is so <laughs> upsetting. It's just oh. people like, are celebrating. Yeah. People are celebrating that he sipped a Pepsi. They're <laughs> hugging. Do you understand? <laughs> we did it. We did it, guys. He's like, I had to sip the Pepsi. <laughs> I can't deal with this. Do you guys understand how bad that was? <laughs> I forgot how upsetting that is. I think I was wrong. Uh, the Ferguson stuff was in 2015, actually. So I don't know. Uh, 2017, I guess Trump just got elected. Mm. They might have been referencing. The, there was like uh, a Trump, women's, the women's march. The women's march, march and that kind thing. of stuff. Yeah, I guess that, that was more around that time. But uh, regardless, it's pretty. Can you imagine the whole parade is focusing on this moment? The one <laughs> she's the center of attention of everybody. Everybody's holding their breath. <gasps> is he gonna take it? <gasps> he took the Pepsi. <laughs> no, she got her camera ready. This is the moment. <gasps> he sipped the Pepsi. Oh, we've achieved peace. I'm gonna come. The prisoners just got freed. 
We're hugging. We're crying. <laughs> I, yeah, hope, I, I hope a lot of people got fired for this. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro, it's, well, I can't believe this shit. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, we did a video where I was drinking Pepsi and started slowly dying, dying? of poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> that was right when YouTube started changing the rules. Mm -hmm. And I remember yeah. arguing with my guy about, he's like, dude, you're dying from drinking a Pepsi. That's the, not family friendly. I was like, shut up. blood looks too real. I was like, dude, this is fucking comedy. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Here, Pepsi <laughs> saves the world. Let's see. We ended it with, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, they can't put blood in the... 3H3 Productions new. Nah, I'll skip all that. This is just the end sketch we did. Back before COVID, remember when you could go to the pier? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube was pissed about this. Would you like a Pepsi? Uh, <laughs> he didn't want a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> this is back in the day, man. We used to get weird and wild with it. We had to sneak the Pepsis on the roller coaster and shit. <laughs> we weren't supposed to be drinking. That's supposed to be blood. Okay. I don't know if it's clear. <laughs> yeah, the Pepsi is slowly <laughs> killing me. It's poison. I think the point, the joke I was trying to make is like, <laughs> let's be honest, you're, this is poison. You're selling like right. sugared water to the point of it being poison and trying to <laughs> sell it like world peace. I mean, let's be real about what it is. People are saying Pepsi Lives Matter. Pepsi Lives Matter? PLM. <laughs> yeah, the roll getting on that roller coaster was uh top. <laughs> they kicked this off when we got off, they were super angry. Hila did my makeup, my white makeup. <laughs> 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 you did a pretty good job with the makeup, Hila. <laughs> the water was freezing, by the way. Yeah. I really didn't want to do this. <laughs> if you don't live in California, the water is always are cold. crazy. Look at this. There's kids playing in the water. It was freezing. It was like 50 degrees. It was horrible. <laughs> by the way, I grabbed the cap, so don't worry about the... Uh, the oh, the littering. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You're really committed to the bit there with the fall. Ethan yeah. always does. We always commit. That's what Trisha doesn't understand about me. I always commit. <sighs> I miss making videos like that, but honestly, no. <laughs> Pepsi lives matter. You guys are right. By the way, am I still number one on WikiFeet? Mm. I, uh, let's see. Ethan Kleinschrock, <laughs> there's a bunch of new ones. Oh, somebody else has been doing uh, censored uh Oh, someone Photoshop. else is doing oh, the yeah. work? You yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm flattered. I Thank want you to so smell much. feet. Here, let's see. Ethan Kleinschrock. Yeah, we've got a lot of work here. You guys have been busy out here. 6.7. <laughs> Joe Rogan toes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who did that? Not one of you guys? Someone else did that? We've been oh, doing wow. the show. It's, it's, somebody has oh, been popping spooky. these out. Wow, everybody's playing along. Nice. It says, you, <laughs> should, one, it says you shall not silence the foot soldiers. <laughs> oh, with the guy f Fox mask? You should, uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're still number one. Here, let's look at the comments. Where how do I look at comments? Is there nothing? Uh, oh, there's a button at the bottom that says comment section. You have to click. <laughs> Get the craft mayonnaise. Craft mayo. Oh, it looks there's like there's more. just no. There's just no. There's oh, they're reporting it. Yo, you guys are giving him a good rating. <laughs> Israeli mayonnaise. Oh, nice. Zach mayonnaise. Lots of feet. Ooh, stinky. Feet. Ooh, stinky. These are nice feet. Get that out of here. <laughs> Whose side are you guys on anyway? Well, you baby, you said earlier baby. to to vote it up. I guess there's been some mis um, mis messaging, mixed messaging here on this one. We're not going to tank it until they screw. Them. Right. Let's show them how much right. they have to lose. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yo, why is there no comment section on Schmidt and Schmlein? <laughs> it, it might be locked. I mean, I have a feeling Ethan. They're Ethan on it. Kleinschroff is uh, <laughs> not long for this world. <laughs> I love fucking with the wiki feet people, man. This is so funny. Well, that's uh, can't we got some videos to watch and stuff? 
Lady wipes ass in the middle of Best Buy. Uh, that one's fucked up. I'm not gonna watch that one. <laughs> It's nasty. It's it too nasty. Cause you can after see... dark, baby. No, it's, it's too so gross. Good. You can see like shit on her hand. It's Ew. Really <laughs> it's so good. Here, you know, she, yeah, she like goes into a Best Buy. She's like this really big lady, and she like is doing a sniff test. Sniff test. Who does that? Ethan does. I'm not. No, I won't <laughs> say that. I feel like you've talked like... about it on the show before. On <laughs> if I shit myself? No, not. <laughs> No, the sniff test. I'll smell my hand, yeah. Okay, right. But that's, that, but that's that, all I think saying. she I think what she was doing is a little further. Like a poop. Here, you know what? This will be fun. <laughs> Here, Ela, you narrate what's happening. Go full dipstick. <laughs> Here, let's do this. Ela will narrate what's happening. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So go ahead, Ela. Explain explain to the audience what you're saying. I don't know. She's what are you seeing? shoving her hand in there. Gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's awful. There's visible poop on her hand. And um, <laughs> she gave it a good smell. That's horrific. She... The chat's demanding to see this video. Man. All right, you've, okay. you've, <laughs> you've built it up too much. It's really not. It's just disgusting. Here we go. Here, let me refresh it. So here she's kind of. It goes now. Look at this. You gotta love that. <laughs> I mean, that's that's more than a sniff test. Oh, that's, she is. That's digging. like a poop yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah no. that's a dipstick. That's, that's a dipstick. Exactly. She she's got some. Uh, <laughs> she's she's checking got, the oil line. She's got some mustard God. back there. Oh though. my goodness. Now, look, was there visible poop on her hand? I couldn't tell or not. Ugh. Why'd you show that? That's gross. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine seeing one someone in public do that? Like, would no. you call them out? Like, what would you do? I would, I would probably just keep watching from a corner. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I would want to see. I would be really fascinated by it, but I wouldn't want to. Oh, she's touching shit. Oh, she got. I found it really fascinating. Oh, okay. she so got she's, paper. So she's going in for a wow. while. Wow. Did you hear about a restroom? What? <laughs> yeah, you can she's do. Taking you, this so far. Wait, you can totally go to the bathroom. What? There's bathrooms no. at Best Buy. Oh my god. There's nice bathrooms at Best Buy. Oh, her what? homie, her, her husband and child are there. <laughs> What? Wait, where did the napkins come from? She where grabbed it, I think, from something. Oh, God. Horrible. <laughs> oh, you guys man. wanted it, so here it is. Those are just nice bathrooms in Best Buy. I don't know why it had to be like this. The, you know, I, I second that. There are very nice restrooms in Best Buy. So she got you, the... you know this? Oh, yeah. Ah, I have a memory of good bathrooms in Best Buy. Pleasant dump experience in there. Really? You know what's wild is her husband was just like, what's up, baby? Wiping why, your ass? Why you good? This? You why get it all? That? Is yeah. it like a fetish thing, you think? Uh, what's uh, up, baby? Uh, don't say that. Uh, no, I don't think so. She just, I think she's just wiping her ass, bro. <laughs> I don't know if it's a fetish thing. All right. What else you got? <laughs> Dude smokes. <laughs> I don't think I can watch this either, you guys, to oh. be frank. Someone said this is how COVID started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's smoking and then his shirt sets on fire? Here, let me... What the hell? Oh my god, what a dumbass. <laughs> he's lighting a cigarette or something under his shirt? Oh, like, no, he's hide it? No, Dan, he's smoking a cigarette. Oh, he's smoking under a his shirt. He's smoking a cigarette, that's right. He's lighting a cigarette under his shirt because it's windy. Mm. Mm-hmm. A cigarette, <laughs> and he literally he lights his shirt on fire. I mean, he really did it. Oh my God, dude, you. Uh... <laughs> Whoa, dude, you're on fire. You're on fire, bro. <laughs> what? What? He hits, he hits it while he's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Dude had his priorities all mixed up. No, <laughs> oh, okay, that was wow. good. I love the the split second decision making at the end there. And so, so it's like a like a, a tobacco ball. pipe. It's a tobacco. Water yes. pipe. Okay, yeah. Spe smoking. You ever go into a head shop and they go, we call it water, water pipes. pipes. They'll kick you out if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I mean, things are different now. It's no, they're water pipes. <laughs> Here on this show? In California, it's... Cigarette uh, papers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what a fucking gun, man. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, we got a new TikTok Joker? Oh, yeah, this guy's pretty good. We have the whole Joker hierarchy. I mean, Hila, you tell me what you think about him. Sometimes you get what you fucking deserve. 
Wow. Sometimes you don't get what you fucking deserve. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Sometimes you get what you True. fucking deserve. Good insight. I kind of love it. Sometimes you don't get what you fucking deserve. It's a good ah, insight. Ah. Like, you know how new Better action... Better than Jared Leto. New action movies have this, like, super realistic, dark look to them. Mm. So this is, like, taking it to the next level. Ah, mm. ah, ah, this ah. is realistic as it gets. Here, let's watch some more Joker content. You know, whenever I think of Batman... My heart is just filled with murder. <laughs> Whoa. This guy might be my new favorite Joker. <laughs> it wasn't what I... It wasn't it. Uh, 136 started, likes. Uh, it went back about 30 foot, opened up into a big cavern. That was about... Am I is this a Joe Rogan uh, call? What is he talking about? <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, hey Joe, you want to talk to this guy? With me, look. Joe, you want to talk to the Should Joker? We conference call them? Yeah, let's get him on right, the line. Let me, let me conference call him. Yeah. Hi, Harley. Maybe Joe can break through to this guy. I don't know. Can't. Uh, 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 okay, uh, here. Uh. Joe. All right, Joe, stop Joe with the pump. Just, just talk. <laughs> here. Joe, enough. Okay. Just cut to the point. Joe, can you interpret this video for me? What's uh, going on, man? Good to see you. Stop it. Just talk to him. It's because we're scared. I okay. legitimately feel like we're scared. And I think when someone like Trump is in office, we're more scared because we realize how easy it is for... Are you making uh, anything of this? You know, I hate to use the term regular person because he's Joker? definitely not a regular person. He's very successful and very famous and yeah. everybody knew who he was. But when a crazy showman <laughs> becomes the leader of the thing, whether or not he's doing good, there's not even arguing politically whether he's doing good or bad or whether he's up because of him. I don't know. But it's just yeah, how he behaves. It's uh, who he is. Uh, like that. Uh, that. It's who he uh, is. Like that. That freaks people out. That makes people good, more right? on edge. And so they're more angry. <laughs> and they're they're they're, they're more they're looking to call people other. out on things. And they're more looking to stomp out racism. I get it. I think they're having a meaning. I think they're having a meaningful connection. Yeah. They can bounce like caves. So. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Marijuana has got two. Bad side effects. <laughs> One. Oh man, I'm out of weed. <laughs> Marijuana is. This guy's so, that's a real Joker brain right there. Zach. You better step the fuck down, dude. <laughs> I don't want to ever see or hear you say Joker brain again. I, I, this guy, I, I mean, yeah, I, there's no competition there. Let's see. I mean, we've talked about everything. It's kind of what? How long we've been going? About an hour 45. So we've got Jake Paul left Triller. This was a crazy development. Mm. Jake Paul was like, Triller's such a dumpster fire. Then even I am going to leave it. <laughs> gotcha hat. So, and gotcha I hat. Like, I feel like this whole lawsuit was a lot fueled by yeah. Jake Paul and this one guy who's funding the lawsuit. And so I think Jake surprised them and left <laughs> to go to Showtime. It's into the show vibe. <laughs> gotcha. and, um, I wonder what does it mean for a lawsuit? Does it mean nothing? I well, know. I think I mean I could speculate that the that Less, it would weaken their 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 motivation. Less excitement there probably. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I my prediction for Triller as a media company is that they'll be they'll be totally bankrupt in two years within mm -hmm. two years easily. They are they are hemorrhaging cash on their app. These fights, they're not making money. There's no way. You think they're making money and coming to me and begging, fucking begging money for me? Just because I watched a dumbass clip? Gotcha hat. I mean, they're going after people in Instagram DMs. Right, so. right, right, right. <laughs> you think they're making money? They're literally <laughs> threatening people in Instagram DMs. Nah, you're, tri you're tripping. Well, Jake, you don't even work there anymore. Apparently, you left. Not really. Imagine being too much of a dumpster fire for a man that was accused of essay by the New York Times, Jake Paul. Oh, man. Who's already, who's already been denounced by Puerto Rico after living there for a month. <laughs> and Jake Paul's like, Triller's too much of a dumpster fire for me. Got your hat. Got your hat. So I don't have any significant uh, Did we ever update. even cover the, the turtle thing on the show? 
Did we talk what? about the turtle thing? I think we did on Frenemies. Did we? Oh, maybe on Frenemies. Yeah, Jake and Logan were driving their golf courses on a protected beach in Puerto Rico. Right, I saw uh, the headline. Where sea turtles nest during this time of year. Yeah. And the... There's a clip of Logan getting all butthurt that people are calling him out. Can you find that, Avery? Really? <laughs> because, uh, but, but like, at the same time that he's crying about, like, Oh, the media's so fucked up, everything I do is scrutinized. The fucking Puerto Rican government put out a press release saying they're investigating it. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, yeah, you can really find that too. But and they were there for like like a week before yeah, this happened, right? Like a week. Awesome. That's... One fucking week. Let me Fantastic. tell you about banana. Let me tell you about smashed t protected turtle legs. I'm a mother freaking blueberry. <laughs> Here's the video of them Jake St. driving a car far with friends through a turtle nesting area. Allegedly filled with turtles, turtle eggs in Puerto Rico. Can you imagine that? Turtles are federally protected wildlife. Dude, what can you just dude? chill for like one second? And then Jake Paul's like, Jake Paul's like, yo, Triller's way too much of a dumpster fire for me. <laughs> imagine being that shit. <laughs> so, and then there's, then Logan Paul gets pissed off because apparently he was there too. I can't find my mouse. I can't find my mouse, you guys. It's there. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> well, Dan switched. He reversed it on me, so now I'm hella confused. Uh, I, I asked if you to... No, you said you want to go up. Yeah. I'm used to going right. You can do that. <laughs> but it doesn't make you can sense. go any okay. direction you want. You know what? It's easy to change. <laughs> yeah, but if I'm... Go Thank you, Zach. If I go right with it, the TV's on my left. It doesn't make any sense. You know what? It's in your brain. Are you breaking open chips? Oh Dan, my god! Sick fuck. I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. <laughs> oh I want my some chips. god! I'm starving. We're All right, guys. Back, it's baby. the chip part of the episode. All Good right. Here. I don't know. We have a lot of new people. I feel like on the show. I don't know how many of you remember <laughs> that Dan has got a chip problem. And he starts crunching during the show. Every time I would call him, he's eating something. We're like, dude, can you not eat during the show? I am starving, but what kind of show is this? Everyone is chewing. It's the, the back chicken. half. It's the notorious back half. We put up, we put our hair down, we start eating. It's a nightmare. Look at this. Official statement from the Department of Natural and Environmental Resources. I need the hush me. For the chips? Oh, that's a good idea. Do we have the hush me? We can test it with chip eating. <laughs> Yeah, grab you the hush. You know where man. it is? Eva's gonna try it with chip eating. Yeah. Where else wow. would it be? Well, we just moved, so... So they said, this is a statement from Secretary Rafael Machargo. I have ordered an investigation to determine the circumstance surrounding the use of two motor vehicles on beaches that are presumed to be in Puerto Rico. Some media have published today a video of an influencer, Jake Paul, in a motor vehicle on the beach. An activity that is prohibited apart from law enforcement agencies. Although the video does not establish where or when it was carried out, DNER reminds citizens that this type of activity is prohibited by law to protect the environment and species that can nest or live in the beaches. Those who violate the law face fines and other penalties. I call for us to share the beaches and other natural resources considering their conserv conservation and preservation. Likewise, we applaud that our citizens become eyes and spokesmen for the possible environmental damage that some people cause due to ignorance or unscrupulousness. We don't care. Yeah, that's clear. That's clear. So either you can do a chip test. Yeah, ow. Very convenient. Are we off the rails? A little bit. <laughs> Here, and then there's something else. Did you get the video of Logan complaining? How do I do this? <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't feel right. Here, let me help you. So it's this not the most comfortable. Like that up yeah. here. Uh, right. Yeah. So you okay. want to put a chip in there and then put, go up to the microphone. <laughs> that looks <funny. laughs> I can definitely hear it mm -hmm. in the headphones. I can hear it, yeah, of yeah, course. <laughs> for <Not> sure. <laughs> I can pretty sure hear it. <laughs> Try talking into the mic. You looked like you were maybe not hearing. <laughs> no, I was laughing because it sounded funny. <laughs> Hush me, guys. Make sure it's on. On? What does it matter? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I don't really know if the if the on matters for the noise cancellation. I'm crunching pretty loud. Is it? 
I mean, it's muffled. It's a little muffled. It's muffled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can hear it. You can definitely hear it. We can't even, we can't even mute a chip, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh. oh, I'm okay. It's okay. It's all right. That's fine. So, wait, did you find the video of Logan crying about being misrepresented? I'm looking for it now. I mean, I see one where he shared the security guards talking about it. What was that? No, I saw, I, was, I think it was on his podcast. He's like, I'm sick of the media taking me out of context. Wait. Out of context for running over a bunch yeah. of turtle eggs. <laughs> yeah. Those, people don't know what those turtles did before the camp. They had it rolling. coming. They added that fucking coming. No, he was saying there was no turtles on the beach and other people were driving their carts. He was like, he was just saying that he's been framed and stuff. I'm a fucking savage. You gotta do it. Well, I've got nothing left on my document, so. Is, do we, you guys got any questions? Anything interesting coming from the uh, chat? Should we do a little Q&A? Uh, the chat... I was in the chat when we were talking about Rogan a lot, asking, uh, like, what you think about Whitney not standing up for you in that clip. Um, I don't know. I didn't really care because I feel like she was probably just nervous in that situation. Um, I mean, it's awkward. I think it... Blo- it's kind of it... awkward and, like... She's been always really nice to me. Dan's in there munching chips. Ela's having an emotional moment. Dan's just, <laughs> he's, I'm, I'm stress eating. <laughs> Sorry, Ela. So, I don't feel like really betrayed or something. I think it's whatever. It's just that she was probably just nervous and like didn't. She wasn't the one who said it. I think she didn't really hear it. I think it just kind of rolled past her. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's nice. We love Whitney. I think Joe's just a douche. I mean, it would have been nice if Whitney was like, oh, this is from, like, months ago, but it doesn't really right, matter right. because Honestly, it Joe should really shut matter. the fuck up regardless. Yeah. Yeah. I see people saying posty. Oh, right, so, there was that clip of him on Steve-O They're show, saying right? that... Yeah, yeah, we can watch it. Let's watch that. Um, oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know dude. this was in, this was definitely inspired by Post, right? Yes, for sure. It was. It was. <laughs> I I did the Teddy the polar bear <laughs> with the Post Malone tattoo mm-hmm. for sure. There is no such thing as a coincidence. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, yeah. So po- you guys remember a lot of people, I guess, remembered my comment about how I was kind of fall, falling out of touch with Post, um, and so he commented on it. On Steve-O's podcast, also a friend of the show. Small world, huh? Yeah, dude. <laughs> and here's the clip. Um. And Ethan just, uh, he said he's, he just, I guess this was like yesterday or the day before, he said he was sad because we don't talk anymore. Oh, but, yeah? And it's so funny you mentioned him. I just got his number back again, so I'm going to text him tonight. He's a, he's an incredible guy, and Ela's the most amazing person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I fucking love that dude, man. <laughs> love both those guys. That's really sweet. Steve-O's a nice guy. Steve, I don't, Steve I don't such a, this. Not, Steve-O's such a cool, interesting guy. I, I honestly love Steve-O so much. And This uh, is new, or from the I think then? he must have, like, backlogged it or something. Huh. Did this just come out? I feel like it must have just come out because he said, "Yeah, Steve-O must have been sitting on that for a hot minute. <laughs> he was sitting on that for like a month." <laughs> Steve-O's wild ride. That's cool. He's actually in person though, because mine was over Zoom because of the. Yeah, it was right. supposed to one day ago. Mm. Um. Genuinely love both those guys. Yeah. I feel like I wish I was. And Ethan just, uh, he said he's, he just, I guess this was... Yeah. So you guys probably want to hear if I heard from Post or not? I guess. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, I, he, I didn't, but, but again, it's like, see, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to talk about because I seem like a little bitch-ass whiny fuck. I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it. 
Um, dude, I, te- I, don't, I, I do that thing, too, where I don't text people. Uh, I don't text people. So, I get it. But it's nice to hear them say nice things about me, because I really respect and love both those guys, too. So, it's nice. Yeah, Post was a uh, cool dude. He's really a sweetheart. He's really just such a sweetheart. And Steve was such an interesting, cool guy. He was, um, Post was one of the earliest guests on the show when I started working for you guys. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And I had no idea who he was. And I guess it was before uh, he had really catapulted into. That's true, because our sound guy, Alex, at the time also right. didn't know who he was. Right. It's so yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was like later that year that his album came out and he became one of the biggest artists in the world but um you know i was i you know i had just started working for you guys and he was so cool so chill just uh yeah it was super fun hung out with us after the show and everything he's just a really down to earth dude his one of his assistants texted me and was like hey i work with post uh let me get your number and i was like here's my number and that's it. That's all. That's all that happened. I don't know how to tell the story without seeming like a little bitch. So, I found it really fascinating. I don't want to make it sound like a desperate or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> so that's that. But anyway, it was really nice to see them talk nice about me. Love those two motherfuckers. People spamming uh, Ms. Kiff in the uh, chat. Oh, what about Mizkiff? I'm talking with him. We want to do something with him. Yeah, I guess he's in... Uh, he's he in was town. in L.A. He left, but he'll be back again. Oh, okay. Mm. And then I was thinking we could... Oh, you know, Love had a really good idea that we would buy a, a rare Pokemon box, like a super rare $10,000 Pokemon box, and open it with him. He's very into that. Or maybe, you know, it would be crazy. You know people do the thing where they cut the cards in half? <laughs> that would be really charged. That would be powerful. Why do people do that? I guess they, it's just exciting. Like, they take one pack out of the box and they go, okay, I'm going to cut this one in half. It's like, it's like a reverse. It's, it's exciting because you're like, oh, I hope I didn't fucking cut up. A, a really handle. valuable one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like a game of risk. It's Russian roulette with Pokemon cards. With Pokemon cards. <laughs> Interesting. Instead of your life. Huh. Interesting. Um... People, what else were people asking about? Oh, Bella. Um, she. I guess we we moved her to next week, right? Or Is it tentatively. A book? It's not. It's not, not booked yet. yet. It's not official. It'll it'll happen eventually, I'm sure. But uh, it might be next week. It might be later. So it got moved to next about. week, but we haven't confirmed it, so we don't know. She's what's busy going. lady. I swear to God, she already big timing me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then Post Malone. I everyone drops me the minute they they go superstar. <laughs> like her video was so successful. It was amazing. Um, I was really happy for her that her video did so well, but it's like, oh, big time Ethan. No, I don't think so. Everybody, everybody big times Ethan. I don't think it's like that. That's not true. Little stupid Ethan, pathetic <laughs> Ethan. Everybody hates him. People asking for an update on your diet. A lot of comments about your weight loss lately. It's definitely yeah. noticeable, and I'm not, I'm not just saying that. Uh, well, thank you. Actually, um, Money, <laughs> that's funny. I was just with him yesterday. <laughs> I like my trainer. Actually, he's a nice guy. We have Money, good rapport. Ethan. Nice. 80 million. 80 million. Dude, her video is crushing it, bro. Wow. That's awesome. I'm stoked for her. I thought it was good. I don't know. I thought it, I thought it was pretty cool. Look good. She sounds good. I don't get, you know. But, uh, I'll just be sitting here in my stupid fucking podcast studio. Small time, Ethan. <laughs> uh, we were talking about my weight loss. I'm not going on the scale. I refuse mm-hmm. to get on the scale. Yeah, you Good. don't need to. I have a bad feeling if I got on that scale, it's going to be 240 fat ass, and then I'll lose all my... But you guys tell me, I don't know. Well, everyone, I agree that you look like you lost weight. There is a big part of me still that doesn't believe you guys. No, in your face. Especially. There's a big part of me that's like, they're just sick. Because so many times I've said I wanted to lose weight and I'm weighing myself and I know I'm not losing weight. And, and then people say, oh, you lose weight because they're telling you what you want to hear. So that's no. what. So no uh, cookies for you? <laughs> <laughs> not correct, Chris Anthony. <laughs> not in this case, I don't think. I mean, you were um, with peace and love. You were. I was big. You were approaching the 
triple chin, you're down to a double now. Okay. <laughs> That's a the, the number of chins has, have been reduced. I mean, so it's hard to know because I, I have to say this about myself. I was getting massive for a minute there, like 240. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. I heard you talking to Trisha about how, because she's, it, it is true that your body is just weird a little. Like, Big ass hips. And yeah, and I was there with you. We were trying to shop pants, and it's like, it doesn't look like Ethan is big, but um, you can't buy the stuff you want to buy, and that sucks. Thank you. <laughs> it sucks, yeah. Thank you so much. So, I was I was asking there. Hila last night. I was like, you know how Alex Jones is his before and afters? So there's fat Ethan. Here, I'm going to pull up my shirt. I don't care. There's fat Ethan, or the husky Ethan, Alex Jones Ethan. <laughs> And then there's fat Ethan. <laughs> Do you prefer a fat Ethan or a husky Ethan? Because I feel like these bo these two body types are real. Some dudes just carry their weight like this. Can you see my body? Uh, yeah. Dude, some dudes literally carry all their weight like this. like, And they just cruise around like this and they look fine. But my body is like this. Yeah. So right. do you like fat Ethan or husky Ethan, Ella? Because I can be whatever you want. Um, I like fat Ethan. You do? You don't like Alex Jones, Ethan? <laughs> wow, congratulations, you're fat. <laughs> no. Look how skinny I look. Husky Ethan looks so skinny. <laughs> Money, Ethan! <laughs> There's dudes that carry it like this. How hardcore are you sucking it in right now? As hard as possible. <laughs> <laughs> hard as possible. I couldn't carry this for long. Yeah, Money, daddy! Ethan. Let's get some daddies in the comments for me. <laughs> Actually, I do look pretty skinny, though. I'm, I'll accept yeah. the compliment. I've been working really hard on it. I've been eating the most boring <laughs> fucking food. I've been working my ass off, drinking lemon water. <laughs> and not like pleasant lemon water, like really sour, fucked up lemon water. <laughs> Where's that, your daddy? What is the purpose of that? I don't know, Dan. <laughs> I'm just curious. Daddy? I have definitely noticed, as I've seen other people point out, though, that my GERD is, like, way better. Right. It is. is oh, I hadn't even thought about that, but it, yeah. yeah that's yeah. that's true. Way better. Yeah. This is me. This could be me, Hila. I feel like me and Alex Jones weigh the same amount in this photo. <laughs> he, he just carries it different. Like a real man. <laughs> yeah, similar. Sucking a ding dong. Yeah, it's pretty similar actually. Here, this could be me. Do you like red me or white me? <laughs> like, look the that, same. That's the thing. He's just as fat as me. Like, look, my body looks just like his. And I'm massive. Yeah, you're 40. I yeah. never sucked any I look ding dongs. Like I'm just husky. Or I'm like this. So do you I think he's sucking worry. in his stomach right here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, I'm, that's awesome. How tall are you? I'm like 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 That's how tall Alex Jones is, so yeah. You're, he is? He's 5'10". <laughs> so he's sucking it in. For sure. Pussy. Wow, Dude. congratulations, you're fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, things are going, I'm feeling good actually. I'm feeling proud of myself. To be you honest with you. Do you have any tips for people? Weight loss tips? This is Alex Jones? Are you fucking kidding me? What? Are you serious? 30 years ago. Dude, really? That's the same what's person? up, boy? Let's go, Alex. How you doing? You can see it. It looks so different. I see it. The faces. No, I see it, but he looks extraordinary different. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's almost hard. Like, if I saw this and didn't know it was Alex Jones, I wouldn't guess it was him. Yeah. Never. Hmm. Sucking a ding dong. <laughs> How do, do I have weight loss tips? No, it's brutal. The way to lose weight is that it fucking sucks. It's <laughs> the hardest thing you'll ever have to do in your life. You're just gonna have to buck up and just suffer through it because it's fucking awful. That's I never my tip. Any ding dongs. Mm -hmm. That's the tip. Yep. Eat, eat You're just less, gonna have to suffer, more. dude. You're just gonna have to suffer. That's it. That's mm -hmm. the truth. How am I gonna keep it off once I lose it? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea how I could possibly stay skinny. Are you, mm. you don't think you're gaining like good habits? From doing I this? am, but like I always said that before when I lost weight too, and I just get fatter than ever. But like, for example, we ordered a burrito. Would you keep exercising even if you like lost uh, weight? Dude, I would like to, but I, honestly, I like working out. I feel stronger. Mm -hmm. 
But I hate it so much. I hate it so really, much. Really? You don't get any enjoyment out of it? Like None. The, you've, you don't get like the euphoria no. afterwards? I do not know this euphoria, people. <laughs> huh. Do you? What about like just feeling good about your body? Yeah, no, I love that. I love that. I like you feel that. confident. You I feel, feel afterwards like good, like I look better, you know? So right. I, I like that. Right. Love that. Mm -hmm. But the act is just, it's horrible, like it ruins my whole day. <laughs> it really does. Because I look forward to it. And I'm just like, oh shit, I gotta do this then. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'd like to prove myself wrong. But for example, on Tuesday we ordered Mexican food, I had a burrito. Didn't eat for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Did you guys do that? I don't remember. You guys all had gnarly burritos. What did you guys do mm -hmm. afterwards? I went home and got bubble tea with Lena, and then I ate some cheesecake at the place. That was Don't it. ask A B. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious. You all, you, you guys both had gnarly burritos too, Zach and Ian. Yeah, it gave me gnarly shits too. <laughs> yeah, I had some nice Mine wasn't gnarly. Foods. Remember, I, I had a, I had a veggie burrito. It was like, yeah, you were, you were. Was but did you eat the rest aim. of the day, Zach? No, I, I was full. Okay, yeah. so, so I, I think I was just living like super gnarly. <laughs> Because I would definitely usually eat another. Yes. Had another meal after mm -hmm. that, and I didn't eat for the rest of the day. That was wow. a plump fucking. Yeah, that was a huge. Ass that was huge. <laughs> yeah, and I finished it. By the way, I noticed I was the only one that literally finished every drop of it, <laughs> and I had some chips as well. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I have I have a disease. You okay, understand? but you made progress. You didn't eat the rest of the day. No, Whereas no, I agree. Previously, you would have definitely. Oh yeah. Had What's for dinner? Else too exactly. Money even. Money. Money. Look, we mm -hmm. like, there's nothing wrong with liking food. But that's yeah. progress. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with liking crack either, but <laughs> shouldn't smoke it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway. Ian, what'd you do? What'd you, what do? Ian, why, why do you... Um... Ian? Ian, please stand up. Uh, stand up, Ian. Stand up. God. Stand up, Ian. Let's go! Stand up. Yeah. Round of applause for you. Did you eat the rest of the day, Ian? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Did Interesting. So, I was expecting them to say, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Only AB. But, you know, AB, I But think he didn't have a whole meal, either. You, you still have that, like, metabolism of, like... He's a young man. A young man. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. starting to wear, but... But he didn't even have a whole meal, I noticed. He had a boba right. and a cake. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's That's not, not that crazy. Whole meal. So, that tells me mm -hmm. that I... Because I was expecting they said I did eat. Mm -hmm. I was living like a monster. <laughs> that's one meal. And for me to go home and, and not... And that's how you can maintain, because when you feel like you want to eat something like a burrito, you can. Just don't eat the rest of the day. That never occurred to me before, <laughs> to be honest with you. And the effort that I made not to eat, I felt was personally heroic. <laughs> <laughs> like, after I went, got through that day okay. and didn't eat for the rest of the day, I was like, that was heroic <laughs> that I was able to not eat. And yet, all of you guys inherently knew not to eat the rest of the day. Well, it's like a feel. Like it, it, when you eat so much, it makes you feel sick. You know. I was hungry though. Like an hour later, two hours later. Before before you started like your diet, what would be like a go to meal for you? Like a bad just. Pizza, it could be anything. Burger. Like if there was frozen pizza, it every could, time it could just make that it. Whatever, midnight, oh, and you know frozen pizza is not good. So what I do is I take cheese oh, yeah. and black olives. I chop it up. I add salt too because it's not salty enough. I st and then I make this whole cheese olive medley and I put it all over the fucking frozen mm. pizza. So good. Would That's you ever so like good. sneak a McDonald's? Like, would you go through there? No, I, I, no, I wouldn't sneak food very much. I was sneaking ice cream. I was eating a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Because Ela's trying the pro also the problem with this relationship is Ela's always trying to gain weight. I'm always trying to lose weight. So she got the pantry <laughs> stocked with ice cream and snacks and all this shit. And every time I open the you freezer, you asked me to put it away. I put it away. What else? Can I not have a snack? Well, you put them away, and I'm just checking that pantry now. Right. <laughs> what do you want from me? Nothing. I'm just saying there's a ton of ice cream in the freezer. There's not nothing a wrong. ton. It's it's two things of ice cream. My wife still doesn't. I'm not blaming you. And for me, it would last a month. But but I'm you come in and eat. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying that I sometimes lose control and eat a whole thing of ice cream. Not recently. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Me and Lena got an argument about this yesterday. Um, sort of the same reasons, but she just keeps buying like really unhealthy, like honey buns, like the worst thing you could buy. Wait, honey buns? Like the dollar really 
a cheap one. It's a bun. It's a honey bun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like and a sweet like roll? Like a pastry. Like a sweet roll? Yeah, cinnamon rolls, uh, uh, donuts. She's <laughs> buying it for herself or for you? For both of us, but okay. I can't resist, and I'm trying, mm -hmm. I'm trying to lose weight too, so it's a little... It's a little so you guys got an argument? Not an argument, but just like, uh, help me out here. Meet me, meet me halfway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me some variety in the snacks. Does Lena have like a really healthy relationship with food? I don't know. She eats. She eats bad. She, she's the same way as me, but she doesn't gain any weight whatsoever. Interesting. Yeah. She probably eats small portions, and then like, like with Ela, she goes, "We eat the same thing." And then you look at the plate. I, the burrito was destroyed. I feel like I've stopped saying that. Yeah, because I, I call it, started calling Ela out. She goes, "We eat the same thing. Why are you gaining so much weight?" She eats ten percent of her burrito. I destroy the whole fucking yeah. thing, and then start eating hers. <laughs> Speaking of which, though, Friday is my cheat day. Friday, baby. Fuck. Should we get him back on the phone? Friday, baby. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, that about wraps it up, hey, I think. It's Friday, baby. Fuck. If I could just say this is my first time in the studio with everyone. <laughs> oh, with Ela yeah. too, right? With Hila, yeah. So, how does it feel? I'm honored. <laughs> Very cool. Go. I hope this doesn't make you sound like a beast. Joe Rogan's on the flying. It's really, it's kind of surreal to finally be at this moment, and should we I don't take? Know. Joe COVID. Rogan's call? Well, He's on the line. I don't want to be rude and make him wait. Okay. What does he have to say? He wanted to compliment us on the new studio and uh -huh. bury the hatchet. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. Joe Rogan Podcast! Check it out! Why does he got to do Joe that every Rogan. time? It's just it's so pompous. It's so arrogant. Joe Rogan Podcast by night! So arrogant that he does that. All right. Joe? What's going on, man? Good to see you. <laughs> I'm so sick of this guy. He's just, Joe, why? I don't know why you have to call in and ruin my show. We're having a good time. You play the music. It's so arrogant. You say the same stupid thing. All right, you want to bury the hatchet? Is that why you're calling? ...about men who decide they're women who want to use the girls' room. Fuck Roseanne Barr. Everyone's mad. Everyone is so I mad. I think I've heard this one. Wow, <laughs> yeah, this is, this all is... this weird... I think I already heard the one about Roseanne Barr. ...is happening that's distracting the fuck out of us. All right, Joe. Wrap, some, wrap it up. The, the better Guys, AI thank you for watching. It's like we're... <laughs> You can keep playing it. Are oh, you going to explain the hats again? Because I just saw some people say, like, they're not going to say anything. <laughs> what they can probably I say? joined go, in. Go fashion. Watch the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> it's fashion. What can I say? Uh, Joe's back on the line. He wanted to talk over me as I close out the show. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just play the damn guy talking. Thank you. Peace and love. It's the fucking Thank human you. interaction. Thank you for watching, it's everybody. That we can't get right. It's Hope you have weird. a great Friday. It's Friday, baby. Fuck. Fuck. Come on. To navigate and yeah. We obviously have problems in business. And there's lawsuits in business. No, and there's people that get him. fired. And uh, appreciate y'all coming by. But overall, love you guys. Love our friends. Joe. Joe. Right? Like business keeps Joe's not going to let me finish. She's just going to keep talking over me. The guy has no manners at all. Joe, can I at least close up the show? <laughs> no. We barely get better at that. Ugh, I can't barely talk over this guy. So I'm going to wrap it up because he just won't like shut the fuck up. Someone for doing something. That's right. where we'll anyway, guys, uh, with like I'll just leave you with Joe, I guess, so thanks for watching. Code, right? like, I give you Joe Rogan. This Roseanne thing was a big one, right? Everybody was like, no fucking way. We're not tolerating that. Fuck her. And the ABC's like, yup, fuck it. We're pulling the blood on the show. It's like, like immediate reactions. So it's like, what, I, what I'm... I don't think it was right. I think she's got a lot of problems. And she's taking a shitload of pills. And she's all fucked up. And I know she's not racist. You're watching next to the three, three, three. You're wet your next to the At about dream. men who decide they're You're women who want to use the, the girls' dream. room. Fuck Roseanne You're Barr. Everyone's mad. Dream. Everyone is so mad. And while all this is all this weird personal interaction shit is happening that's distracting the fuck out of us, the more it ramps up, the the better AI gets. It's like we're we're falling into this whole like if this was a trap, if I was artificial intelligence and I knew I'd be like, well, is what we'll do, we'll just go back in time and set people up and make them make us. We'll just plant this idea in their heads and just like, well the ass is the way to go, because it's like open. You know, it's not like, yep, don't have to go through the dermis. And so they just, just connects with you and you fucking see augmented reality with a little tiny robot dick.